Good evening, everybody. And uh, yeah, uh, welcome to our show. I know you're probably expecting the bubbly. Hey, we're Pusha. Welcome. Uh, yeah, the welcome celebration. Me too. I was as well. I was excited as well for tonight. We usually come out here ready to get excited, get people energized about video, what we're into, or special guests. But here we are. As you can see, there's no guests. Mostly space is empty. I wish I had an easy answer for all this, but you know what happens sometimes. You try to take your kids to one event. Oh, take your kids. It'll be fun. Oh, take your kids. You're going to have a great bond with them. And did. They loved the monster trucks. They had an amazing time. But I, on the other hand, was like, Xenia, why don't you try it on your own? And she's like, no, I don't want to. And then I got her to it, and she was not sure again. And... She's done so good. She's gone with Casey Neistat. Wait, I... wait, wait, wait. Did you start without me? You're back. No. I only got... <laughs> went to get some coffee. Oh, my. You can't do you that You didn't leave me. me. I am so happy to have you here. Welcome, everybody. <laughs> Hi. It's Monday night, and we are both together live. <laughs> you're not going to get rid of me. No. <laughs> and you're not going to do the show on your own. Yeah, and I finally got to smoke once on the, on the live stream, so it was exciting for all of us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Say it's not too friendly now. Oh, poor TriStar Travelers. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to make you worry. Oh, <laughs> Jarell. Uh uh, Thank you very much for coming in, by the way. It's Monday. Yeah, exactly. It's a hard day of the week. Yeah. And uh, uh, forgive us the little joke. In the yes, beginning. exactly. <laughs> oh, how are you guys tonight? <laughs> we actually missed you guys last night. That's what it was. It's, it's uh, talk about becoming part of our lives. Oh, I see um, uh, Maui Khan. I was Maui Khan Street Girl. Excuse me. I remember your channel very well. Just want to make sure I pronounce it properly. You can't stay too long. No problem. So glad you came in to say hi. And I definitely, definitely hope if you can make it back after, that would be great. And uh, you are another person that we've also met just too that we do want to have uh, back again uh, on our, uh, sorry, as a guest on our show soon. Oh, some new ones. Roundhouse Ranch Barbecue. Now this guy is killing me. Found his channel. I find I I, I watch every one of his videos seems to be about two o'clock in the morning when there's nothing to eat. Oh not that it would my compare, god! Not that it would compare to what he makes, but at least something. Yeah, I, I've seen it too. It's yeah. it's uh, deadly in the middle of the night. Like you yeah. want to go and start cooking something right away or eating. <laughs> I had to go. I had to literally. I grabbed some soda biscuits and some cheese slices just to get me through watching one of your your uh, episodes. Food is fantastic. Uh, Gregory, Gregory back. always uh, a pleasure. Nathan likes drums. Hi. Great to see it. Did you tell Nathan about uh, next Monday night? No, not just yet. I thought you would tell about it. Yep, to everybody sure. today. I got a poster. I'll share it in a moment. <laughs> but just in case I lose Nathan, if he doesn't stay too long, I hope he does. That next Monday night, we're going to be having a music night with uh, Nick C from uh, Halos and Heathens and a bunch of guys, Mill Hill Mud Mowers. And it's definitely going to be just a night about music. We're going to be talking guitars, uh, band stories, you know, do some switching panels and stuff like that. Yeah, it's going to be a manic Monday. Yeah, uh -huh. exactly. So. I don't know if the girls are going to be allowed or not. Uh, yeah. uh, not sure. where, where would a band be without girls? Of course they're allowed. Groupies. <laughs> Groupies. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <One here. laughs> Oh, yeah, so stay tuned uh, for the poster <laughs> and announcement of Manic Monday uh, next Monday. I'm very excited. Just another Manic Monday. That's right, Kathy. I'm so glad to have you here. Man, her daughter is going at it. Jesse with the vlogs. Yes. And the video you guys put out this morning, honestly, was it was killer. I was so good. I loved it. They did, did you see it yet? 
I was no, gonna say I, I didn't get to see it unfortunately. Yesterday yeah. we uh, we went uh, to a nice uh, event. Yes. And now uh, we got to do some videos and and pictures. And today I was busy yeah. trying to do those. That's right. Yeah, but I will definitely go and, and watch it. Christenings. Uh, we had a christening, and it wasn't. Uh, those are always great events to cover. And yeah, it was nice. Yeah. It was really nice. Uh, had such a great time, and uh, they treated us so well. And, yeah, yeah, it was really nice. <laughs> yeah, I love That's it. That's why now. we weren't on yesterday. Yeah, because we were actually thinking of maybe going on, but uh, yeah. yeah. By the time we got home, then I thought it would be better. We yeah. thought it would be better for us to be today. Yeah, um, in more quality than we were yesterday. Yeah, no. <laughs> I could have given anybody in the ASMR that involves people passed out sleeping would have loved yeah, my I, cast. <laughs> oh, I could have gone live yeah. and show no. everybody how you. No, sleep. or then you will be by. It won't be a joke one. You will be by yourself on <laughs> oh, here. <laughs> no. Yes, because it's so adorable. I didn't say that. So adorable watching a mid forties <laughs> man crashed out. Yeah, lovely. Oh, fine. <laughs> oh, you're cooking dinner. What are you making us? Hey, Liz and Neathans. Hey, Joey. Hello, Pusha. We are out having dinner with friends, and I'm just reaching out to say hello. I hope you guys like my video. I will check back. Like, yes, yes, my God, we watched it. Yeah, uh, each separately <laughs> and then and again together. Yeah, oh, it was uh, awesome. If anybody haven't checked it yet, go and yeah. check Joey's newest video. We are in it. Yes, too. he hijacked our intro. Of course, asking us first is only a Joe would do. Yeah, but so. you gotta go and check yeah, how exactly. It was, was a very creative. I was very, I was it. very impressed with it because he didn't tell us what he was doing. Yeah. With it. And since we're huge fans of him, we kind of just yeah, you Joey, Joey, we kind of say yes to a lot just because we like his work so much. And yeah, he really did a great job and a great message, guys. Really something to check out. Uh, we also did the uh, I'm a Creator Marathon on Friday. That was yes. a lot of that was a lot of fun. We had some laughs, a few technical difficulties, but you know what? I think we came through with champs. I was actually rewatching part of that today. Yeah, and then yeah. we turned in at the at the end just yeah. as a as a passive watchers because we were so uh, beat from the live stream and then our live stream on Friday night as well. But uh, we it was still participated. Yeah. It was good. It was yeah. good. I yeah. mean, there was I. I it is uh, important we do keep that bond with uh, with the I'm a creator. It, I mean, it's helped get us where we are for sure. And uh, we had lots of laughs. Oh, <laughs> I think uh, between me and Kathy, I don't know who was laughing more. <laughs> I was when I was watching it today. I kept thinking about that. I think we were laughing at least every thirty seconds. So now was, this is a link to the Joey's video. So check it out. Oh, just dropped it in the chat. Yep. Yeah. No, definitely. Check agree it out after. Yes, Put after the. Pause. Yeah, we'll play. We'll post it again at the end of the, as well at the end of the uh, uh, stream tonight. So, wow, so many deals. So nice to see all you guys. Some still some more new ones. Yeah, and today you. Brenda's in... journey. Bre Brenda's journey. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome. So glad to have you here. And guys, we're going to be taking questions tonight. So if it's about us, if it's about editing, like we did the last time with thumbnails, which was so much fun, really. Yeah, I if love somebody that. is brave enough to uh, put up their video for uh, us to just look yeah. through. Well, no, we're not hard on no, judging. No, we don't do we that. We are not judging. No, we're we're just... here, we offer some tips. I mean, we also, like anybody else, yes, we work a lot with this stuff, but we're not uh, masters. We're all, all learning, and everybody's at different levels. And just if we are better at editing something, you're 10 times better being in front of a camera than we are, or you're 10 times better at finding uh, more interesting content than we are, or, or what you do as a hobby that you do on YouTube is uh, more, uh, is your realm. Yeah, so just message yeah. in the chat if you are ready to put up uh, your video and drop a link if you can. Yeah. Uh, and then we can present your video to everybody. And that is also a good way for the other people to get, to get to know your channel yep. and drop by and see and maybe get some more supporters as well. Brenda's Journey says, I love your accent. Thank you. Um, three Star Travelers. I finally went live from my cell the other night. Uh, I was scared to that. You did great. Uh, yes. Well, look, you was, did great. So, uh, we're terrified. We were joking. Where was Oh, with, uh, 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 oh my God. I'm getting so caught in my words today. Uh, Halo and Heathen the other night. We were telling them. I said, yes. when we press the green button here, it almost looks like a scene from uh, oh, no, Armageddon. Oh, no, yeah, oh, no, exactly. Oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> 
<laughs> the ones you're on. I mean, especially you guys are like family. Yeah, and, and Halos and Heathens. Another uh, new one. Anne's Hideout. Oh, my God. Hi, hey, welcome. Halos and Heathens did their first live YouTube yes, as well. Yes, they did. Because they uh, have been doing podcasts for yep. a while already, but this was their first uh, YouTube live. So go and check that out, too. And honestly, if they hadn't wrote it was their first or told us, I would have never would have guessed. never known, yeah. Not a bit. So. Not a bit. Uh, but, uh, you want to check the chat? It's easier for you to see than me. I'm going to um, go Yeah, uh, Marta Larazias, uh, uh, Tyler Terrell. Tyler, welcome, fellow Canuck. And hideout. Yeah. Yeah, lots of new faces. That's yep. amazing. Uh, the community is growing. The supporters are growing. One man army. Yeah. Uh, yeah. One man army has been amazing. Like, and thank you so much. Like, oh, you've all been. We all. Uh, ATGH. ATGH travels. What does ATGH stand for? I've been meaning to ask you that. Love your channel, by the way. And it finally clicks. Of course, it's funny how these things so many times click when I'm on live. Yeah. And I'll pass your channel like I have like 60 sometimes watching videos and stuff, and I never think to type it in a question. Mm -hmm. uh, I find it easier. That's the one thing I do like about doing these live streams is getting to talk without the typing. I finally feel like I'm cheating enough to get by it. So I'm not the best typer in the world. Oh, Marta Laura Zayas just uh, supported us. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you so much. And yeah, please leave a comment because I definitely will go check you out as soon as it's done. Halos and Heavens will be yeah. live streaming uh, their drive to Reno this Saturday morning. Might be a train wreck now. I'm sure it's going to be just fine and we're looking yeah. forward to it. Enjoy Reno. Yes. Have a great time. Uh, by the way, if you missed it, uh, we had an amazing talk uh, last week on yep. Friday, I think it was. Yeah. Yep. Uh, it was amazing. We yeah. Oh. Yeah, we usually plan for around two hours, yeah. and we just couldn't stop. No, we exactly. We couldn't stop. It was so amazing. It was like so old friends. And there's still so many things I wanted to talk about and so many questions. Like, I didn't ask anything about unboxing, my mm -hmm. favorite stuff. And, uh, yeah, so we got to have them back again soon, really soon. It's very cool how... I've noticed that from last week, how like meeting like Rick from the Corn Life and stuff like that. You know, people, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's almost like looking at me as you're talking, uh, getting to know people better, and especially with Neil as well. From, uh, I mean, him and I have almost identical interests and everything. It just shows you how much we all have in common here. And even though we have different styles of editing, different topics we cover, some at different levels, and other, we have so much common behind the camera. And that makes me feel really good about what we're doing here because that's the whole point is for everybody to kind of bond together. I really feel that's what will help us support. I, it'll make, it'll bring on collaborations, uh, support for each other for a long time to come. And, and not that we're all fly by nights. I believe a lot of people here have already more than well proved themselves that that's not what they're about. But I think it'll make the bond even that much stronger. And that's a great thing. I mean, what a great way to build a core base for what you do. And we appreciate what each other is doing, learning new things about what each other do. We all have so many talents when you put us all together, just the people sitting this channel alone right at this moment. So it's very cool. It's it's, it's honestly uh, such a pleasure to be with you guys. Oh, Camaro time is here. Cannot stay. Wife calling for dinner. Just wanted to say hi. Uh, leave it playing when... As well as Vertex. Yeah, uh, yes. lots of uh, streams going on at the yeah. same time. Good so Life was saying, yeah, it's an guys, dinner at 8 o'clock at night, mm -hmm. or is it a time difference? Everybody's yeah, it might having be the same time. I would like to have dinner at 8 o'clock at night. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy the live stream interactions with, uh, with, and various topics discussed, uh, Kathy says, 100%. Yeah. And this is what tonight is. Uh, Railroad Preserver 2000 was asking if he can come on. <laughs> and we appreciate that very much. Just tonight, we're kind of keeping a little more loose and just kind of mingling with everybody because uh, we do have a lot of guests. And it's been unbelievable how many people want to be on this live stream. <laughs> yeah. I, we are so blown away. <laughs> it, it, it's honestly, it's uh, humbling. But tonight, you uh, you guys are our special guests, yes. as, I, as we were tweeting out tonight, Yeah. Uh, because uh, we want to interact more with the chat and, and see what you guys up to, what your week was like and weekend, if you have any questions, just a chill conversation yeah. and us talking with you and uh, you talking with us. Camaro yeah. um, is an Eastern time. Uh, no, uh, 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 
Okay, Tana Lee, I just got home. Hi! <laughs> I would let you guys enjoy, just, since Neil and I seemed to hog the conversation the other night, as we were told, so I figured I would Yeah, and Neil was, um, was at my pajama party. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Neil's that type of guy. Neil's that guy that, yeah. you know, even if, if it's four women sitting around discussing anything, Neil's quite happy just to jump right in there. Well, you, we needed you to come and do our hair. <laughs> That's, That's right. Uh, that's what was missing. Like, we we needed that. Like, dude, someone do our hair. Well, yeah. yeah. I need a new haircut anyway. By the way, any suggestions, Neil? Color, cut something. I need a new haircut. Summer is coming. <laughs> uh, Brenda's got to go tuck my daughter. You know, this is totally new for me. Planning to learn so much. It is fun to meet new people too. Yes, Brenda and. If once uh, we uh, with our daughter too, I know we're back and forth, but we're going to be on for about two hours. So if uh, after you want to drop back again, you have any questions, uh, please feel free. Leave it dry and come back. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Take a nice uh, glass of wine or a cup of tea or coffee, whatever yep. you prefer, and then come back and relax after your daughter is asleep. Oh, I'm trying. I want to disable that other video, the the preview video. Okay. Your spotlight's on you <laughs> without <Hey>! any warning. <laughs> I like doing that tour. Yeah, yes. <laughs> I'll be the first to admit it. His favorite thing to do when I just came to Canada, and mind me, I didn't know anybody here. Yes, I knew English, uh, but I didn't know anybody here. So his favorite thing to do was to just drop me and and leave to to go out to talk with somebody. And so he would drop me in in the room with uh, was full of people uh, that I didn't know, and most of the time <laughs> just uh, met them first time in my life <laughs> and he just went and, and did his own thing and came back in an hour and no. and i'm not very comfortable with uh, strangers she's just making it up folks so yeah <laughs> but never now, now i'm used to it <laughs> <laughs> now i'm used to being dropped yeah. not strangers. <laughs> now she runs <laughs> Uh, and yeah. now I talk yeah. him to, to yeah. you know we have a <laughs> there, no, that's, that's... Unvis unvisible invisible bond. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, serious. <laughs> uh, Kayla says it was lots of guitar talk, but we had a lot of fun. Yes, and that's where idea of Manic Monday actually uh, came from uh -oh. because you guys kept talking about <laughs> guitars and music, but it was actually exciting. And there were so many people uh, having interest in it as well and wanted to talk about it more. So we thought, well, why not? Let's yeah. let's have a separate segment for it. So that's what we're having on Monday. So Halos and Heavens, Neil, you have to be on it. So book your, book yes. your evening. Yes, you're, you're the star. <laughs> you're one of the stars of the show. We, it's not a show without you. Uh, Neil used to specialize in dramatic cuts and color. So, are you sure? Yes, <laughs> everything goes. I yeah, I had everything possible. I had red, I had long and blonde. I had very very short. So, uh, surprise me. <laughs> um, Anne's hideout. I don't know how to edit yet. Well, tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going. <laughs> that gonna... went really high for a second. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm having a how's it called voice uh, break. Sure, <laughs> that's, that's one okay. name for it. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna have our Tuesday tech talk, uh, uh, same way as we had it last week. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna be talking more about editing uh, photos and videos. So Anne, if you are interested, in that uh, drop in tomorrow at 8 p.m. from 8 to 10, and we're gonna have more talks and questions about the technical side of uh, videos, photos, and uh, and social media. As well, we're gonna have a special guest tomorrow. Very surprising, very interesting and different mm -hmm. than your usual <laughs> guest format. So you don't wanna miss that. So come back tomorrow as well. And if you have any questions, write them down and post them in the chat tomorrow. We're more than happy to answer them. And if there's any short tutorial that we can show right away to give you better tips on how to edit something fast and quickly, um, we can do that too. So, um, ADJ, ATJH travels as as the editing is learning process. It takes practice and patience. Yes, for sure. I'm going to start with something <laughs> and layer on your knowledge. And the more you learn, the better. Of course, that's why we say we're not experts. Not at all. And and I think if somebody says that they know everything, they don't. Mm. <laughs> that means that they definitely don't know everything because 
yeah. it's impossible. You want to grow, you want to learn more things all the time. That's how you grow. We talked about that with, uh, it was last week, and I can't remember with who. Or no, maybe it was our Tech Talk Tuesday. We were saying about Photoshop, for instance. I mean, that's one of the most versatile programs in the world for the simple reason is, oh, my God, our lighting is horrible tonight. We really didn't. <laughs> the way we said it, we were both sitting back, so we forgot that we were moving. We were kind of playing with it. It's okay. Go ahead. I'll move around. It's all good. I actually like being in the show. <laughs> so it's all good. I kind of got the, the half moon thing going. Okay. So. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move here. No, no. Mind, don't mind me. It's all good. I'm managing the chat. Mm -hmm. If you ever see just the manual for Photoshop, not a guide, user guide, nothing like that, just the, the manual itself, bare bones. Talk about one of the most daunting books you'll ever put in your hand. It, when you bring up somebody who works with 3D, somebody who works with line drawing, somebody who works in print design, web design, media design, uh, film, I mean, it's used in everything that we do. And there's tons of tools geared at just those. So most people never even learn a fraction of what it does. And that goes with a lot of editing programs as well. Photoshop, Photoshop is just, mostly people say that even if they don't use it, just because it's, the, the, it's like the refrigerator, frigidaire type of thing. So never feel that you... Um, down if you don't know something just use your resources we always preach that go on youtube and type it and you don't need anything fancy how do i make a video cut how do i make a or what is a jump shot anything like that you can find so many things on there most people have done it 10 times you actually get to pick the video that best speaks to you i mean you couldn't ask for better service and something you can pause watch again if it takes you 10 times to do it well you'll you learned in the end so and not to get frustrated by that i see that happen a lot with people they they feel oh i'm not getting it and i had to watch it twice and what well then watch it three times or four times whatever it takes it's well worth it uh it makes your talent better it impresses people more and as a side note for uh, for effects less is more this there's and every effect there's always going to be a slider that goes to 100 but with most effects, usually you're around the 10% mark. It's always there. It's like an accent. It's when you uh, bake something and you sprinkle, I don't know. Salt. Salt. Okay, there you go. <laughs> salt. <laughs> I never thought of salt. On that well, one. if you would bake, you know, you would know that you always put salt anyway because that's yeah. what makes the flour so good. That's right. Yeah. That's why I don't bake. So yeah. That's why so I don't salt know is that. Good for baking. Yeah. <laughs> It, it's just a spice on top. It's not meant to be the taste of your video. It's just meant to accent it. And that's where a lot of people make mistakes. Is they, and it looks cool. Oh, I'll slide it to here and just go full force. But you can lose the point of your story. So it's very, very, very important. Extremely, I can't stress that enough, just go lightly on the effects. They're just there to give your... A lot of times it's when you notice your shot, it's either to blend two shots or to give a little bit of extra energy to a shot. Um, the opening for our train view is that a guy just complimented yesterday, I think it was. I have that opening for the Push It Studios uh, train series. <clears throat> and how I have those couple of jump shots, only six seconds long, and then there's a glitch effect. And why I put that in there was just to really make the video look dirty, to make it look raunchy, to make it look like you're getting like a false feed from somewhere. But I didn't use it in every shot that was combined, just that last one to make it look like you were losing signal. So I guess that's kind of a, an example. That, uh, oh, oh, Martha, you're leaving. Well, thank you so much for coming. Uh, like I said, we're going to be on for a while. So if you want to drop by again after, it would be great to have you. And thank you so much for coming. It's a real pleasure. Uh, yeah, any any new uh, supporters and just uh, new people to YouTube in general are more than welcome. Check it out if you have questions. Uh, Marta will, is gone, but she asked a question about our name. So to anybody oh, I'm sorry. Who, uh, uh, who hasn't been to our live streams before. Uh, so this is Andrew and I'm Xenia <laughs> <laughs> and we are Pusha Studio. That's right. Uh, I am Boucher. Big shout out. Oh, Ian Boucher, welcome. Danny and Maggie, hey guys. Oh, Hi. wow. And, uh, great to have you guys here. Some new faces. This is excellent. We got lots of people. Who's where we are? So, guys, like I say, any questions, please.
you know, I know everybody hates to be the first ones to get the ball rolling and that, but we did uh, Tech Talk Tuesday was amazing. Oh, yeah. I didn't even think we were going to get through all the questions when they were coming in. That's yeah, perfect I think for I still us. Have so. some, uh, uh, written down for sure. Tommy, Tommy Tech Outdoors, welcome. We're doing great. How about yourself? Sorry, tonight I got a light. We did a really fast lighting thing here because we had the kids in the living room with us and we were getting everything set up after. So, Well, it's, yeah. it's less formal today. Yeah, and that's another thing too. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's true. I know. I, you're right. Yeah, life is fine. We can also just switch it up. <laughs> Crazy Russian <laughs> official. Uh, Hi. Welcome back. The more money did you yeah. hi hello welcome back to and we can see some of the uh Ya minya zabut Andre yes ya is Kennedy that's even close right. okay sorry you kind of stunned me <laughs> that's why I wanted uh, to do it I wanted to do that that was a tribute to uh, the crazy Russian official yeah and I was learning Russian because uh, he wanted to connect with my family I'm not from Russia I'm from Latvia but uh, lots of people talk in Russia and in, in Russian language as well especially all older generations mm. talk both languages as though as this Latvian uh, is very limited there's only like two million of people in the world talking so it would be more practical to learn Russian yeah uh, because um, and easier, I think, too, in a way. Mm -hmm. uh, so Andrew decided to learn Russian. Yep. So, yeah, I think it's gone good. It is. I, I had to kind of pause it for a while, unfortunately. Good job, Andrew. Uh, uh, spasibo. Spasibo. Very good. Spasibo or spasibo? Spasibo. Spasibo. Yep. spasibo. <laughs> <laughs> you know something? My favorite word that I've learned so far that I really always wanted the true Russian word was pil uh, pillow, right? It's podushka. Yes. <laughs> she laughs at me because the word's always learning, and I got so frustrated at one point. And I'm like, they don't sound Russian. It's, it's, I want the uh, I want something that you would slam the table with, and that was my word was podushka. That I could oh, just very really... difficult. I love it because I love the language. So. That that was one of the answers to my dreams was that word pillow. Yeah. Oh, and Russian language uh, is 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 really great. It's uh, yeah. it's so poetic. It can one thing can be told in ten different words. You know, it's it's just so layered, it's so deep. And just look at the uh, you know eighteenth century poetry and and Russian literature. It's it's just amazing. It's so. Classic. And the connection because of Napoleon times and that to French, like the, yes, it's unbelievable. The words as I was learning them, realizing just how much of an influence French is on the Russian language. Yes, <laughs> like a, a store in, um, like a, a store in, in French is magazine, and in Russia is magazine. Uh, newspaper, of course, in French gazette, and and Russian gazeta, and there's tons of them. That's just two I can think of off the top of my head. Says my cousins live in Lithu Lithuania. Excellent. Yeah, we went to Lithuania in one of those uh, our trips to Europe, uh, and uh, it was really nice. We went to to uh, Vilnius, and we went to uh, the beach apart to the eastern part of Lithuania as well. It was beautiful. Have a great night, Kathy. Thank you so much for coming. And if you're around after, welcome back. So good luck with the homework. That's always fun. And tomorrow <laughs> we're gonna tune in to your live stream before ours. Yours is at six thirty. So tomorrow everybody go. Yeah. Let's see Miss Kathy and Jesse's live stream at six thirty, and Definitely. then hop on to ours at eight. Yeah. So <laughs> thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Uh, train man's in the morning. Uh, yeah, train man. Hi. Yeah. Uh, definitely. And the Mower Man 82. So glad you're here. Thanks for coming. I was, I, was, I think yesterday we had uh, we had connected again. I have such a bad memory. Things have been going so uh, fast the last couple of days. It's hard to keep track. I remember each and every one of you has never forget that. Spanish uh, and French are somewhat familiar. Yes. I would like to 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 well. I would first and foremost, I have to learn more French. I mean, yes, I I know some of it just because where we live. Uh, but uh, I definitely would need to learn more, yeah. especially the talking part. I understand more than I can talk. And then after that, Spanish would be amazing. Then we covered most of it. <laughs> we went to Spain the other year, and uh, we got off. Uh, it was one of these trips where we literally were standing at Riga Airport, the capital of Latvia, saying, where does your planes go in the next 24 hours here in Baltic? And we had a choice between Milan or uh, Barcelona. We took Barcelona just because it was a direct flight. And I, uh, 
we landed. We had no hotels booked, no nothing. Literally just a flight and a flight back a couple of days. No, we didn't have a flight back. We, no. we booked that when we were down there. Yeah, right. we just kind of... Really by the spur of the moment. And we ended up in Barcelona going to this hotel. We usually... We're outside people. We're not much for big hotels. It doesn't really mean a lot to us. It's not our uh, uh, a goal of a trip. But this time was one of the few times we went out. And this place was absolutely fantastic. I, I'll show it to you. It was Actually, called, told, my mom just passed away, yeah. and and there was because uh, were lots of things that I have to deal with, being that I wasn't uh, living oh, I in Latvia that. for the time anymore for a long time, and uh, we were there for a short period of time, and lots of things had to be handled in in a fast manner. So, uh, you know, anybody who have lost somebody close to them and knows how hard it is to begin with, but then you have to deal with the practical stuff, but it's definitely not something you want to do. So uh, Andrew, being a, a good <laughs> husband, <laughs> uh, decided to pull me out of that just for a few days to, to let me kind of get rid of the stress and then jump back into action with new energy. So that's why we went. <laughs> Mm. Spur of a moment, wherever it flies, we'll go uh, trip. And, and uh, I must say, although I didn't want to leave uh, afterwards, I was thankful because it was really needed, for sure. Yeah, it, it, it was rough and it was just time to take a, to get out of there for a few days. And we literally landed. We had no plans. And then all, uh, we got a cab and I'm like, oh, don't worry about it. They're all going to speak English. I mean, it's a big tourist area in the and it was none. It was either French, pretty much, or Spanish that day, at least. I don't know if we picked a, a special day or something, but I started being able to at least get by, and Xenia asked me, and I was, it was kind of a mixture of English and French that kind of helped me. Mind you, I wasn't reading literature or anything, any, like, great amount, but, I mean, I could at least get us to, uh, somewhere downtown. Mm -hmm. We, um, you know a little bit of Spanish, though, like just enough to understand. Yeah, and I told them too. I think that just came from watching television shows, you know, because the states, of course, were in Canada. If there's any question, did Andrew watch soap opera? <laughs> yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That was always my morning ritual. <laughs> now that's enough about my teen years. So. Well, nobody said teen years. Yeah. So thank you for a confirmation. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. One hundred percent glad I could help. <laughs> Yeah, that's no, it, it really stay was at. a vacation out of the uh, our ordinary, uh, completely yeah. opposite of what we usually do. But sometimes uh, we have to do things that we don't usually do, <laughs> just so yeah. we can appreciate even more what we usually do. I think <laughs> it just gave a different look out. I just want to say before I close this, the we found out later that the hotel is actually designed to match the the cruise ships that come in. That's why it's built that way. It was a very cool place. I always remember the orange tree growing on the third floor between everything. Uh, it was it was really nice though. They had um, the sweets were crazy. We uh, they uh, had orange trees in the lobby, live orange trees. Oh yeah, I forgot all about that. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Actually, this looks a lot like the suite we had. Yeah, much too big for uh, for us, I think. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but uh, but it was beautiful. It was a beautiful view. Um, yeah. and so close to everything so we were able to go for a walk you know in the middle of the night and the beach and all that um, weird though they allowed because as you've seen there's like a long deck coming in because of this uh, the cruise ships for such a a, a a very prominent hotel that they would let people sleep remember those backpackers sleeping in the parks yeah, I know. It, it was right by the hotel, and it—I mean, you know—it's a good hotel, so I was kind of surprised too. But and Europe in general, I mean, most of the places you are allowed to like stay or just hang yeah. around in the parks in the green zone. So it's it's more used. Yes, Tyler. Uh, yes, it's Barcelona. We were talking about yeah, we yeah. went to Barcelona. Hi, uh, Milhill Mudbowers. I see. Oh, was welcome. There. And the Good Soul Life is asking, do you ever break out the instruments back there for the live stream? Monday, next Monday, tune in Manic Monday from eight to ten, and you'll see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I see. Uh, the more man eighty two. We have some friends from the. From the oh, Seychelles Islands, and they speak Creole language. Yes, it is a beautiful language, almost French, but not real. Yeah, exactly. Like if I hear them speaking, I can, I can get by, and it's um, it's got its own twist onto it. But yeah, I could probably, for the most part, get a, a at least an understanding of what they were telling me for sure. The food's incredible too. There's a Creole restaurant I, I used to go to. I haven't been in ages, 
There, thanks. Now you got me thinking about that food. <laughs> and, and it is good. If you like spicy, those spicy potatoes, oh my God, they're amazing. <laughs> uh, my dad and my sister went to Barcelona and visited the Camp Nou or FC. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, that must have been really exciting to see. Yeah, there's lots of yeah. places to see there. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, next time we go, I definitely would like to go a little bit more out of the city because yeah. there's so many of the coastal towns and things. Hopefully, like that. That everything keeps sort of semi quiet now and there's no more uh separation talk with barcelona from the rest of spain and, yeah. and the french culture is very predominant there you can see it like all the signage is english is uh spanish or french excuse me uh most of the people i've seen especially visiting it, it was lots of french in the streets uh and parisian french it's a as it sounds very different from what quebec where I'm over the province I lived in Quebec, Quebec sounds uh, same as kind of like English North America versus British English in that way, where Parisian is more smoother and Quebec has got more of a chop to it. It's more direct as, as they speak. So when I hear somebody, if I'm downtown or somewhere, somebody speaking Parisian French, like I can hear, I, I, I can pick it up immediately. It's a, it is a big difference. Yeah, the Mara man says that it's interesting the way the mind works with understanding languages. I agree. Um, you know, like, for example, me with Russian I, uh, or Latvian, I don't talk, but I can understand Lithuanian and uh, Ukrainian and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, even Romanian and things mm -hmm. like it's places that I haven't even been. But if they talk slow enough, like not just like <laughs> <laughs> I can actually understand it. I think it's 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 the way our mind perceives the forms and shapes saves it with uh, gestalt that you can associate yeah. something and you pick up the, the things that is familiar to you and put them in a sentence. Well, or if you take and... French, English, French, English, Russian. It's pretty much the building blocks of pretty much all of Europe. You know, you well, can Spanish. You, Spanish. Spanish probably, excuse yeah. me. Yes, I, I, I think I said at the beginning, but there is all languages are kind of you can if you speak one of those languages or especially if you speak two of them, <laughs> you tend to notice a lot of similarities. I've seen uh, Milhill Munmowers. Uh, you guys taking requests on Monday? Depending. Sure. Yeah, we're just talking tonight, just taking questions. Uh, anything you want to ask about us about the? Uh, yeah editing anything like that definitely love to talk with you we were just chatting around yeah. today yeah i wish i uh i wish i could give you more information on uh jet uh jet motors for your lawnmowers but it seems like you're way ahead of all of us on that i still found that was so amazing i keep thinking back to the night we were talking on that panel that was really cool yeah it was definitely. yeah i uh five minutes i don't know i just love the connections that people will make uh Five Minute Kitchen says, hello, train man. How are you? I have seen some of your train videos and live sessions. Great videos. I remember a train man coming in uh, was was 40 something. Something like that or 51. It was, yeah. And no. then the other day was, I have 72. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> exactly. It was amazing. So it's great guys connecting with each other. It's amazing. Uh, the Mauer man continues on with our, um, about talking about languages. We also have different regional differences with the french language within the provinces yes the dialects yeah. for sure like again even with such a small country as latvia uh there's five different at least five different dialects yeah uh, exactly. and some of them are completely like sounds like completely different language even yeah uh so yeah for sure definitely Treman says 49 and i just looked you're at what is it 90 i think 90 wow yeah. good stuff good stuff congrats <laughs> and Good I mean, job. Train Man also went to the I went with I'm a Creator uh, playlist and stuff like that. He's gone into some of the chats and everything. Yeah, I've mingled seen with you people. in some of the chats. So good yeah. job interacting with uh, people. That's amazing. That's what gets you gets you up. For yeah, sure. uh, Milham Munmores. You should know some Neil Young. I I like Neil Young. I uh, it's trying to strum like him sometimes because he always has that double back strum in his stuff. I'm, you're coming, right, uh, Millhill, for uh, next Monday for uh, for the uh, music uh, talk, the Manic Monday. Excuse me. Yeah. I can almost feel like Zenia like like squeezing my neck if she can get away with it. Will you say Manic Monday? Yeah, next Monday. Monday we have Manic Monday from eight to ten. Uh, all talk music and guitars. So if you want to be on Millhill, yeah. Uh, Halos and Heavens. Neil is going to be on. Yeah. Uh, and a few others. And, He's a big Martin fan, so I definitely would like his uh, input. <laughs> Resorian. Um, but a, a, a resorian bug Bach yep. is going to be on talking about music so if you want to be on and talk music guitars 
please welcome. And then we can play Excellent. some Neil Young. <laughs> yes. Hey, if you're uh, doing, uh, yeah. it's going to be fun. We're just going to like keep it light, but just like telling yeah. stories with each other, talk about our guitars, yeah. uh, what guitars, you have, anything to bring to the table. And I definitely would love to have you there. Would be amazing. I see uh, Matt Cook, Oregon. Uh, what uh, photography channels do you watch? Uh, what do you want to see when looking for photography uh, content? Uh, I'll let Xenia take that one in a minute because she does more. I'm more into video. One of her favorites, as everybody knows by now, they've heard a thousand times from us, <coughs> excuse me, is Peter McKenna. He's uh, probably one of our biggest influencers, I'd say, at the moment. Yeah, uh, definitely. I mean, he's uh, Canadian, so I I'm, mean, just that. And I, then. <laughs> I don't. Well, and he's then, he's great he's going. Canadian, and he's yeah. cute, and he's so amazing. He's so awesome. I love everything about him. Okay. So. After that was, said. <laughs> but we were always never one thing. And I mean, you too. I see your work. I know you're an artist. So you'll get it right away. We don't, um, we don't go after somebody wanting to copy their style. It's the last thing the world we want to do. I'm looking for tips and tricks from uh, how it, we kind of for video wise. We kind of shoot the same way. That's why I like him. Where him a lot of times he bases all of his, a lot of his videos based on the music selection first, which is what I like to do. Which to the next person then might. They might despise that. It's to each their own. Um, but his work is just great. Uh, it's very, uh, very, very cinematic. And I, we were, like my style, I was doing it before I even started watching him. No, I'm not putting myself in the same caliber as him. But I like very, very cinematic. I like bringing down the darks a lot. I like a bit of that kind of an 80s feature movie look to stuff. So I, that, he's number one on my list. Now I'm going to pass over to Xavier like for photography. He, I'm talking about Peter McKinnon. I like that he can turn even the simplest things into a piece of art oftentimes. Um, I like that he can use phone to make amazing footage. Um, I think that that's professionalism when you can make something inspirational for other people out of nothing using almost nothing and i think he does that very well and yes some people might not like that he's hanging around with casey neistat or whatsoever it doesn't really matter for me it's not why i'm watching uh him or i'm that's not why i'm watching any other channels or looking for uh, other photographer photographers profiles i'm i want to learn i want to learn how uh, people do things learn new things um um I also, inspiration, the other people's works is inspiration for doing mine. And it's not copying, it's just being inspired about how amazing photography can be. Um, also, most of the time I draw, drew inspiration um, browsing Instagram and I follow a lot, a lot of photographers, professional photographers on Instagram because I think, um, it reflects the best the the photography but do you have a couple that you really like like that you can name a couple that uh, yeah i as i mentioned before like i have been following jasmine star like forever uh, uh now she's kind of more busied up with social curator and, and more of the <coughs> social content she still does her weddings and uh as well but she's more focused on that now but i started following her when she was just do doing weddings and just starting shooting up <laughs> as a star but i i find her um the way she's teaching is very practical uh, i have followed some of her workshops and some live streams i follow uh, her live streams on instagram she's a very practical short tips tricks that can be implemented uh, so i love her for sure uh, if you can just for a second i'm just bringing up a video yeah. that's uh Custom cards is considering coming on the show. I play guitar and drums, piano, LOL. Yes, sure. Definitely. Shoot me, shoot me a Twitter message, please. If if you are thinking of coming on on my next Monday, shoot me a Twitter message so I can put you in the in our listing, okay? Um, Matt Cook, Oregon. I like shadows. Okay. Susie Channel. Happy Monday, friends. Hello. Tracking Studios. Oh, Tracking Hi. Studios here. Well done. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if Nathan likes drums. Thumbs up is that you're gonna be coming, or I hope that's what it is for. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Milhelm Mudmower said he's gonna be there. Perfect. 
perfect. I think it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be so much fun. Um, the Mower Man. Hey guys, have a great night. Great live stream. Uh, thank you. Good night to you too. Thank you for coming. Um, uh, Oreo cupcakes. Yes, Susie. <laughs> we all want them. Um, Matt Cook Oregon. Thanks for the answers. I like to hear what some experienced photographers like to watch. Oh, you're sweet. <laughs> yeah. As I said, uh, there's uh, there's always something to learn, and and that's what I'm mostly when I when I watch other people's videos as well is because it's a great way of learning how. It's not just about content, which also is important, obviously, but a lot of times it, it is about how. I want to know, okay, what is this trick he did and, or she did? And then I go and research, you know, how can you do that? And then I learn how to do it. And uh, yeah, it's a continuous learning. So uh, definitely. Uh, hi, James. Uh, we wondered uh -huh. if you would be coming in or not. Thank you for tweeting our... Uh, yes. live stream out and by the way anybody who are here and haven't tweeted our live stream out please do so the more the merrier i want to uh i was gonna answer a while ago welcome james by the way sorry i'm <laughs> as you can see i'm not the best at multitasking sorry about that i wanted to share with uh matt oregon i was bringing up a selection of video i i it's on my server the original i wish i had it here but i can show you what we were talking about and this was a great example of something that was very, very washed out. Here, I'll bring it down a little bit more. And it is a little, as you see here, when you stop a frame, it's a little bit bluish here, but I purposely put it in on this one as a great example of footage that was hard to work with because it was such a, the sky of the day was so washed out. I remember it was like a, yeah. you know, when you get the weird whitish turquoise and everything, but because I wanted to shoot a video like they did in the 80s, that's why I used this piece the way I did and really brought it up here in the side of the buildings. And this spot always kind of reminds, uh, is probably the best example of that. And if you go back to a lot of 80s videos and watch them, you will see this. They actually really crush the blacks even sometimes a bit at the time, especially music videos. A lot of feature films too, because A, they were working purely film. There was no video effects added to this kind of stuff at all, only for major blockbuster two second scenes that cost a million dollars the this gave it that kind of worn look a bit because most video producers they didn't have big budgets back then so they had to work with what they got they didn't have much control over when they shot and to match their shots for color correcting that's why they tend to go this route so you notice back then you don't see a lot of like bright sunny blue sky days most of them were kept kind of even for that reason like you see, even the clouds here, I wash them out a lot, where usually I would want them pronounced and have the black shadows running along the edges of these clouds. It's, does the most show out? Would I? Yeah, it does. I yeah. It, um, to give them definition. But I went the exact opposite this time in this one and really kept things. Uh, this is between the transition between scenes. Uh, this is probably my most... I would like to call it one of the most iconic shots because my camera doesn't zoom. So I have to do everything in post-production. So I was actually working with the idea of like you see in Pulp Fiction where the car is coming up and the sun is zooming in and everything just pulls back and forth, back and forth. Even though in all these shots I was driving straight the whole time in one lane, it gives it that depth. Everything is always pulling away from each other. And once again, as you can see, heavy blacks all along the containers the cities is mostly all built in the blacks. There's not many like celebrated highlights into any of it. And the simple reason for that was just to keep it uh, just to keep it uniform and give it that 80s feel. See, the city looks kind of bleak, kind of like they used to show New York in the 80s. I guess would probably be especially right yeah, especially here. Especially this shot. Yeah. yeah you know, definitely. and this one too. This is like every 80s TV show where they zoom in like that. So, so yeah, that's a. Uh, and I do that a lot in most of my videos. Just this one, I went extra heavy because, like I say, I was shooting for a real, real heavy presence of the 80s into it. Sorry, that's a long answer, but I hope it answers uh, some of what uh, you were talking about and just a bit more into our style. And we can, uh, any other stuff like that you want to know? Uh, Matt is adding if you probably favorite at uh, 24 FPS. Yeah, I, I do sometimes, but I find. I know that's a big argument, and it's one of those teachers are on. 
I just find with YouTube, it's minimal, and already my camera has a little bit of blur because I work with a steady cam. I know a lot of you that shoot at 4K can actually just go and extract a photo, and it's a lot of photographers are doing that today. When they're doing weddings, especially big groups, they're literally just shooting video, go home and then extract all the frames that they want to keep as uh, portraits. My camera, not so much, so it already adds a little bit of that blur into it by times. So it was just kind of a decision of uh, of uh, flexibility. I kept it at thirty because I can always drop it back to twenty four if needed. So, but yes, I agree. And a lot of a lot of guys, especially the one like Peter McKinnon I just mentioned, they swear that they got to shoot everything twenty four. They won't do it. The funny part is though that some of them have been tricked. It's like wine taste testers, and some of them that knew and could spot it a mile away when they tried the blind test. It was surprising. It was a high number that didn't get it right at all. I think it came out around 50%. Uh, Wonder Music Aid Relaxation. Interesting. Yeah. Hi, by the way. I love your channel. I use it a lot to fall asleep. Mm. I have a, a suggestion request. If you could have a longer video, I would appreciate it. I think the longest videos are for two hours. Yeah. And sometimes I use it like when I work and then fall asleep, it is just too short and the playlist uh, doesn't really work exactly yeah. <laughs> for my liking. So if you can make like a, a, a more than two hours, I would appreciate because I use them for sleeping and relaxation in the evening. So love it, by the way. James Cox, uh, on my last break and then I will be heading home at 9 p.m. Yeah. Very dedicated, uh, yeah. as I was commenting. So, yeah. oh, <laughs> sorry, I didn't realize you're. So, I'm I'm seconding the motion on that, James. So, James does do a lot for the community. He's done a lot for I'm a Creator. Yeah. Uh, that marathon the other night was his idea. The new channel. I mean, he's always said that he doesn't. Uh, he didn't. He, it's not his. It doesn't belong to him. But he's definitely been. We'll say the spokesman for it. So. And even yeah. us with the live streams, we uh, we first we appeared on James Cox live yeah, stream. Yeah, that's where we cut our teeth. And we were, weren't even ready to do any live streams, and now weren't even planning on our channel. And James said, "Guys, you're going to do it," and and he kept insisting even a week later and two weeks later that we got to do it. Yeah. So it was a great inspiration for that, for sure. So thank you. See, James shoots in 24. Matt Cook, uh, is there a reason to shoot in 24 frames rather than exporting 24 frames later? Some say because you get the one odd number off when it drops one frame per second that makes a difference. Like I said, I, I believe true filmmakers really get into it's not that I have a problem with it. I could start shooting it tomorrow. I like the just knowing that I have 30 in case I need 30. And yes, I could drop back. And some say they can see it, but they have done tests. You can find them on the net, and most people couldn't tell, especially with my type of camera. If you're shooting with a very, very high-end 4K ultra sharp. Yes, I would say you probably know it's more then. Because we're literally talking about six frames a second difference, which is a difference, of course. It is six more frames a second, but it's also six more frames a second. But that's part of creating. You know, some people like to use a pencil, some like to use a brush, some like to use a... It's what you feel comfortable with in the end. There's nobody has the right to tell you you should be doing this or that. Or otherwise, we're not getting the point of what YouTube is all about. And that's the whole point, is to be independent. That's why we don't have a producer, executive producer. We don't have a director. We're us. And that's a lot of hats to wear and a lot of pressure. But it's also a lot of freedom. And I think that is important to a lot of us. It's what makes us us. Because we work hard at what we do. And to go through all that, put up a video hoping not like a television series where you're paid in advance and then maybe some royalties later on. The hope that somebody will watch it. I, um, yeah, I, I, I see. I just got hit when I said that, just realizing what kind of a daunting task. Nobody has the right, I believe, that fully to tell you how to do that. We have to have some guidelines in here to, so that nothing happens to anybody else disrespectfully. I mean, I get that. YouTube has to have boundaries. <clears throat> but in the end, we are still pretty free range here. We're pretty lucky. So, uh, and that's part of the grace to me is, and, and Peter McKenna, I think, did say that because even like he says, like he's a bit of a purist. And he's like, oh, 30 kind of frames kind of freaks me out. But at the same time, too, he said, you know, in the end, like we have, it's our choice and it's how we want to show our craft. And what you don't like, I might love, vice versa, or you and I might love, it, and the next guy thinks it's ridiculous. So 
it's a great it's a pretty luck it's a great luxury we have today when all is said and done and we've been hard on this platform but it is a great luxury the freedom we do have to do all these things can you believe that we make channels can you believe that we have the, you guys here right now talking back and forth from around the world can you believe that we've been able to see each other's content supporting each other finding new stuff that we were never interested to i mean when you step back from for a moment and really look at the big picture here we live in an unbelievable time in history it is so unbelievable to take all this in of what we can do and i just think of somebody that even unfortunately passed away 10 years ago to bring them back and see just how much the world has changed because if they passed away when they were 90, well, they were used to a generation where things changed almost every 100 years, or we'll say 50 by then, to be generous. And things change every six months. Everything you just went and bought to make videos, to edit videos, software, it's almost all obsolete the day you bought it. There's already a new version out and three more in development. It doesn't stop. It just keeps growing faster and faster and faster. And that's why it's too important to remember that you can't keep up with everything all the time. And like you said, you said a while ago, but some people shooting with phones. That's great. Some people shoot amazing video with phones. There's no law against that. Your content comes number one. So don't feel that just because you don't have the newest software or you don't have the newest uh software uh, hardware newest camera oh i bought the sony blah 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 and now they came up with the sony da 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 well <laughs> yes the sony da 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 does a few more things the other one doesn't but it's not like it's going to hinder your craft you'll the a lot of the channels we watch yeah they keep up with the latest things why because they're sponsored by them and good for them i don't knock big channels because they were small ones and they did hustle to get where they are as long as they're doing something decent with their content you can't knock somebody for growing. But you will get there. And you know what? Even if you don't reach exactly where they are, if you like what you're doing, you're already ahead of the game. So it's not like you're missing out. If somebody's coming on here just looking to get rich, it's going to be one lonely place. Uh, I got to go and I'll be home soon. All right, James, safe travels. Be and well. James also agreed. It's, uh, it gives more of a film look and uh, added to what you said about uh, uh, getting the words down of the gadgets to buy. It's yeah. the same as like cars. Yes. Any recommendations for 4K 60 frames per second? Nice new video. Oh, definitely. And I mean, you get some great shots with it and stuff. I mean, 4K a lot of times is meant, of course, as we know, that's especially if you're shooting anything fast, sports, uh, racing, anything that has a lot, a lot of movement into it. You'll capture so many more frames. It will make your shots that much more fluid, and especially for slow mo. Uh, it, it's great. Like <laughs> it, it's one of those things, and you can afford it. You can get it. Go for it. Then definitely, if you have no welcome back, AD, ATJH travels. I'll get that right one of these days. I swear to God. Every time I say your name, it's like I take a breath and try to get it out right. And that's usually I keep stumbling because. Uh, like you can uh, buy even like a uh, cameras that are more good for photo, but they're amazing for video. That like, uh, uh Sony uh, A7S uh, shoots 4K uh, and 60 FPS. So uh, you know it depends what you're what you are uh, yeah. looking for. Uh, if you want something that you can handle better in your hands, uh, work with it on the, uh, while traveling or while walking around, and you want something less heavy. And maybe mirrorless uh, is good uh, for you. And it's not just for photos, for videos as well. They, they take amazing videos. But then if you want something more stationary, then you want to look in something more serious. Uh, so it depends what you're... Uh, oh, my God. We're getting so many new channels. I'm sorry. There's UP4204. I use a phone for most of my videos. But Even no after I get a camera. Yep. Welcome. Red sounds guy. expensive. Yes, it is. There's a video, if you look it up, Linus Tech Tips, where they bought their cameras. And they bought two cameras with the sensors. And, and it, everything came out to was 256000 U.S. It's uh, it, it, They're shooting at 8K. The great thing about shooting at 8K, because right away they were going to say, well, you don't need 8K, because uh, oh, uh, Uzo, Uzo Lu, welcome, welcome. So great to have you. Shooting at 8K, what the nice thing about it is it's kind of like what I do right now with 4K. 
I shoot in 4K, I edit it in 1080, then I use plugins to bring back for and then export at 4K again. And the reason why is to get nice, stable, even shots because I always have double the size to work with. And that's what they're doing with 8K into 4. They're shooting at 4K, but then they're editing at 4K as well. And at ATGH Travels, we use our Canon G7X Mark III and our Galaxy S9 to make videos. Yep. Uh, somebody before that was saying as well that they use mostly uh, their phone, UP4204, use the yeah. phone for most of their videos. Even after they got a camera, they said. Yeah, exactly. And that's fine. Uh, I, I, really, I really think that the gadget or camera or, you know, whatever you use for photos videos is, is not as much as important as your skill. Because you can have the best camera in the world, let's say the same red that Andrew mentioned, and worth, worth a couple yeah. of tens of thousands after you assemble it all together. But if you don't have skill, uh, it's going to be better uh, if it's only a good camera, but you don't know how to use it or what is the composition. You don't know what is light. You, you know, like even basic things like that. Yeah. And the same the other way around, uh, you can use an old uh, Minolt uh, film camera, yeah. uh, you know, eight millimeter, and and be amazing. Definitely. So uh, I don't think that running after every new camera that comes out is the best way. Mm -hmm. If anything, that I would suggest invest your money into growing your skills, learning new things. Uh, you know, yeah. uh, camera is not what is going to take it to the next level. No. How many times have you seen somebody on a street corner playing for money with an old beat up guitar with no name onto it? It's not a Martin, it's not a Gibson. And you're thinking, why does this guy not have a record deal? And that's the same thing with your camera gear. It's the same thing with anything. And how many times do you see somebody who goes on YouTube and we see some of them flaunting because you can tell right away they got a rich father or you know, a rich husband or a rich wife or whatever the case, and they got, oh, and I'm using the uh, red camera here, blah, 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 blah. And you're looking at your videos thinking, you know, I could have shot 10 times better using my phone. There's, that's not a coincidence. That's because you need talent. Your equipment only goes so far, and talent makes for the... Uh... Oh, okay, sorry. Sorry, Trey, I was but sorry. It... Um... It's all about your inside vision and what you do, how you look at the world and how it comes through the tool that you're using at the moment. Casey and I said, I don't, I don't quote him so much, but like he, somebody asked him one time what he uses and he had a great answer for that. I always liked it was I use the best camera I can use at that given moment that's at my disposable that will work in that shot. And that's a very fair thing because that can mean anything. That means GoPro, that can mean phone, that can mean... His, his main cameras, it is a, a good... And especially phones nowadays are so good, uh, you know, and so clear. Uh, I mentioned Google Pixel, yeah. <laughs> for example, and uh, Samsung, Motorola, uh, the new ones are, are even S4. Yeah. Uh, even the older ones are yep. so good. So, yeah, you know. The yeah. only thing I would say where you would probably need to look more at the specs or the price of the of the camera that you're using if you need to use it for the low light conditions because that might make a bit of difference. Yeah. If it has a better sensor, most, a bigger sensor, that would make it more expensive. I think we can agree that most most yeah. cameras shoot well in lit areas. It, yeah. It's it's the evenings and the early nights or early early mornings where. That separates the expensive cameras from the not so expensive. But that, I mean, that's okay. You, not everybody has to shoot at that time. I think of the Blair Witch Project was such an example of that as somebody running on a shoestring budget with all back before YouTube was around. Yeah. And people lined up to see their movies. They didn't have anything. They had no budget. There was nothing. It was all shot handheld. It, it was kind of a, a, a precursor to what we have today. So. Your craft is what counts. And Matt, ask ask away. Uh, yep. uh, everybody everybody is, <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, <laughs> needing the answers for yep. all these questions. So if you have questions, just it's not a bad time. It's great time. So if you have more, just 
drop them in. We're more than uh, welcome to answer them. And yeah, and I can see lots of people, most of the people actually that have answered about this uh, are using their phone. Uh, yeah, even though they have a nice camera, sometimes it's just easier. It's much easier. Uh, like now I have a different phone and I don't really like the camera in it. But before when I had a Motorola and like not the newest one, but uh, oftentimes I didn't even take my camera with me. Although before that I was like taking my camera bag everywhere. Yeah. Just because it was enough for me to make great photos, you know, on mm. the go. I didn't have to take all the gear with me. Um, so yeah, I agree. It's, it's just sometimes so much easier. And then also like if you don't have a Wi-Fi enabled uh, camera and card, and then you have to transfer your photos and then like as me for example i'm shooting raw so i have to process them so before even i'm able to post even one photo anywhere it takes like a long while to get there from shooting a picture and posting it there are like five steps in between if i'm using camera breaking news phone, breaking right news we interrupt this uh... The story to tell you that ATJH Travels has just hit 500 subscribers. Yay! Congratulations to you guys. Well done. Good job. I'm watching you guys Perfect. for a while. I'm happy for you. And if you haven't checked out their channel after the live stream, please go and check them out. They really got great content. So that's amazing. So happy for you. Sorry about that. We now return you to your regular scheduled program. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Just funny, I asked when you were talking about the importance of scale over gear. Well, it's it's still it's still there. I mean, although I I still shoot like I still shoot with a camera that uh, Andrew got me uh, now be four years ago, and um, and no, I don't want to upgrade. I I love it. I'm used to it. I don't see right now such a huge difference between what I have and what is out there uh to, to upgrade just because it's out there but at the same time like i still keep looking out and and see what is there what is new uh you know i'm i excited to see with the canon and, and um, nikon new mirrorless cameras are they going to stand up to sony i don't know and just you know curiosity i want to i i'm still looking out uh seeing maybe there is going to be something that hits the mark and, and it's so much better that it's worth upgrading i don't know but that's why it's good to ask these questions it's good to know what is there. Another thing, too, is if you want to upgrade later on down the road, uh, lenses, for instance, hold their value a lot. So if you ever decide to change yes. brands, you can also buy mounts to be able to mount them. What is it, the E-mount for Sony? Yeah. It's the mount so you can yeah, mount them on down Nikon. Yeah, for every camera, you can have adapter mounts with the interchange lenses. But also, again, like I was saying, that investing in your knowledge and your learning skills the, the other thing is if you're thinking of either upgrading your camera or buying a new uh, glass like lens, buy a glass because uh, it's going to give you much more versatility, um, much more of a difference. Um, and a better glass is going to make a better picture. If you're going to make, if you're going to buy uh, a bad lens, but with a good body, well, that lens is going to be what is going to determine the quality of your picture, right? Mm. So uh, always, if you're thinking between the two of them, upgrade your lenses. Your body is fine as it is unless it's 25 years old or unless it's 25 years old and you're shooting film. That's another story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, the, the one thing, yeah, some people are jumping for is the stabilization features that are yeah. coming out for film. But yeah, for photography, that's the nice thing about it. Like I watch Xenia's photo photography. Here's a side note. Here's a great example of this. As Xenia is a great, great subject for this. Her camera is a couple of years old. Yes. You want to know the secret to her great photos with people? And that's where she really, she does amazing landscapes, like amazing. But with people especially, and probably ties in the landscapes too, is her background in psychology. She's very good at putting people at ease. We were at the christening yesterday and I'm watching her. And she has this thing where she goes into another room when everybody's getting ready or the celebration going on. She's in another room clicking from like, not hiding behind a wall, but she'll be, say you have your room here where everybody is, then the next room, and then there's a dining room table. She's standing on the back of that dining room table taking photos of these people. It's Yes, it's nice to have the ones where everybody's standing there still, and the moms and the dads and everything. But the photos that really stand out is the one you catch people like this when they were talking to somebody, and their hand was down, really caught into somebody's conversation where you can really feel the connection with them. And that's... 
you know? exactly no it's, you. Yeah. Well, when we shoot events i try to be as less as intrusive as possible because we we are not there to be the the main uh you know focus of the event we're there to capture the event so i by our presence i don't want to interrupt the natural flow of the event i rarely pose people uh yes we do the you know regular shots for portraits or with weddings that are shot lists that people always want but other than that it's um it, it's it's capturing the moment and we're not there to change their experience we're there to capture, capture them it. Um, it's like when you uh, animals, you never go up and ask the deer to stand a little more to the tree. Yeah. You know, the, the, you're the, <laughs> people in the same way. We forget that we are so still close to the animals in that way. <laughs> and that's what we enjoy seeing in other people is, is natural. Yeah. Natural is such a key to video or I have a lot of trouble with my video camera because it looks so strange. Yeah, that's my heart right yeah pay attention to it you know i want to kids oh my god like they're right up staring at it because it's bobbing yeah. because of the z axis and, so. and his old microphone uh, yeah uh, this is his old microphone it looks like a hamster so especially kids they want to touch it right away it's great if you want to get a baby's attention but yeah. other than that yeah it looks like something out of jurassic now we have a different uh mic but yeah, yeah this was a hamster mic <laughs> <laughs> the woofer man woofer man my yeah. god yeah hello to our <laughs> the video Back hank and joe's the, wedding that became yeah, the running joke watching, of the day they're gonna know what you're talking about yes definitely um yeah also we started watching peter mckinnon he has some great tips yeah. yes amazing he goes back and forth from cinematography and 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 again back to photos but uh in in the middle of all that just watching his videos not even where he has his actual tips just watching them you get a lot of things new uh have you seen rock keist with outdoors no Channel? i'm looking them up great um eye and talent filming hiking and history that would yeah. be great to look at yeah definitely uh, if you know if he's on, please tell him to come by the, the live stream. Yeah, we're always looking out for new uh, yeah. talents that we want to want to watch as well. As I said, it's it's amazing. YouTube, excuse me, has opened up our eyes to so many amazing creators. And, and as much as this apocalypse was a bad thing for our channels that were monetized before and, and still struggling um, to get there, uh, it helped a lot of channels that were before buried uh, in the nowhere land yeah. because of the algorithm. It's helped them to get up and be seen. It's amazing how many creators we have noticed and discovered. Oh. Uh, you know, so thankful for that. So. The, they're all, I, the hardest part is with the live streams. I haven't had much time to edit, and I'm watching these guys thinking, oh, my God, I got to try this. I got to try that. And once again, I do not want to copy anybody's work. No, I haven't told many of this yet, but I've actually sent a thank you to Peter McKenna for inspiring me because he was the original one that got me to start again after I'd given up when this uh, apocalypse first started. He did that video about getting back on board, and that's what started it. Yeah. And I told him right into it, like, you know, I hope you can check out one of my videos and know that it is not your style. It's still my style. You inspired me to... to for tips and ideas, but I, you know, because some people say, oh my God, I'm doing it. And you look and it's a carbon copy of that. I don't want to do that. I, that's where I go, no, 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 no. I don't even want to hear <laughs> enough that it gets into my head because I'm always terrified I'm going to do that. But it's okay to borrow techniques from people and then work it into your own. I've done that where I've seen people do something where maybe it's uh, blending into a scene where I've had to reverse it coming out and then I might add like a little effect onto it just to give it my own touch it's it's to get ideas and there's nothing wrong with that that's not plagiarism you do not want to plagiarize you never want to lose your own voice yeah uh alan says family helping each other yes exactly definitely um ath travels we also use canon d3 um 3200 for most of our pictures yeah 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 well canon is the one of the best for uh for um uh, photos out there Welcome back, Crazy Russian. <laughs> I'm Brother Dan. Hi. Yes. Uh, do you miss Gaspazi Golovadev? Oh, oh Golovadev. Yes. <laughs> oh, I didn't expect to see that tonight. How do you pronounce it? Uh, uh, Golovadev. It's uh, if I if it's uh, 
uh, with the coleslaw yeah, and everything. Yeah, potatoes, coleslaw, yeah, uh, um, meat, uh, and peas on top. I miss it. <laughs> I'm, I, the, I'm the one that loves it. I'm the worst Quebec. Send it this way. I'm the worst Quebecer in the world because <laughs> I'm one of the only Quebecers that doesn't like poutine. So I'm Beep. not. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. I love it. I love it. I loved it the first moment uh, he introduced me. To and it. I know in the states now it's been more introduced to the rest of Canada. And even though I don't eat it, the purest here, and people who do not know what poutine is, the base of it is is basically fries, yeah, a thick gravy, and always salted cheese curds, and that's the key to it. Everybody says because it's a it's the salting here that they use in the Quebec area, the uh, Ottawa region, I believe. Yeah, coleslaw, chicken, peas, poutine. That's yes. right. Yes, yeah. it's the best, it's the best thing <laughs> yeah. ever. We go when we go to Gaspe. Yeah. Uh, there is this uh, uh, fin, fin gourmet. gourmet. Yeah. And they have the best. Uh, this this type of poutine is the best there. Like I I I love it. I remember the first time I was introduced to it, I was disgusted by the idea, but then I tried it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. You don't have to look at it. You just have to try it. Yeah. It's so good. I'm still getting past the first part of what you said. That's fine. Yeah. I get it. I, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, it's not bad. I, I just, not, but yeah, I know Xenia really, that's one of her oh first stops. Yeah, yeah. I, if you ever drive through there, through New Richmond, uh, go go and check it out. Finger me. Ian Boucher is very familiar with it. Exactly. I figured he was going to write something. Yes. About it. <laughs> uh, we used to pick it up just outside New Richmond. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's it's very popular for sure. That's yeah, exactly. They're just like a couple of kilometers away from where I where I grew up in Cascapedia. That's right. And there's also Dixie Lee is a uh, our fried chicken place. I live in a small town. And there was literally two restaurants when I grew up there. Within the, then the next ones would be, what, four, what, seven, eight miles away, fifteen kilometers. Dixie Lee. Dixie Lee. Shout out to Dixie Lee. Yes, we love you, Dixie Lee. <laughs> Please sponsor us. Yes. <laughs> we don't even want money. And they opened one here in Montreal a couple of years ago. It's for the second time, and now that one's closed. And I get it. For people up here, it's just another chicken place. But to us, it's kind of like going home. It's that taste. Even for me, it has become one like that. Uh, it's just different. Uh, a T J H. I'm so sorry. I sound bad at spelling. Uh, I feel like it's cool. Uh, <laughs> thank you for all support. And uh, they are also talking that they use 50 millimeters, 300 millimeters, 200, and a fisheye lens. Question Which one do you use the most? Because I'm sure there is one that is your go to lens. I was just curious which one you're using and why. Uh, Tyler Terrell, if you come to Alberta this summer, visit the Calgary Stampede. Their barbecue is really good. Yeah, would love to. Actually, we have been uh, through yeah. Calgary and stopped over there on our way to uh, Bam. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was beautiful. We went to the Olympic Stadium. I used to, and I used to go for work sometimes too when yeah. I worked for the music company. I, I like, I love Calgary. I love the West. I love the Midwest, the West. We'd love to go there again for sure. Um, uh, where is it? Mano uh, Fish, salut et tout. Uh, salut et toi aussi. Uh, Dixie Lee, haven't been there since 2001, but would love to go back to Gaspe. That is, yes. Especially that oh. area have changed a lot. Uh, down, the, uh, down the rabbit hole with a W travel is here just for a moment. So I also seen uh, our previous guest before. Uh, from last week, our fitness man. Yes, yes. I hope he's still here. Well. Then we got into something. I want Island to aesthetics. Yes. yes. Sorry, I seen you, and then we started talking about cameras. <laughs> yeah, we, we were lucky. The like the first week to have guests that we did, it was just unbelievable. Oh yes. We would end these streams and say like it's unbelievable that people are coming on here like that, it, it, and down the rabbit hole, uh, Island Aesthetics, uh, Corn Life Network. Uh, Halos and, and Heathens, because I'm always worried I'm going to mess that name up. It's Railroad like 2000. Railroad was 2000 Preserver. James was, yeah, James. a whole bunch of the great yep. guests. And uh, down the rabbit hole, we're talking uh, somewhere in between of food and cameras. <laughs> <laughs> I just, double G Gaming. This is a really great question. Hey, what is your advice you would give for uploading a video on YouTube? Tag, title, thumbnails, etc.? Is it which one is it because I mix them up because we use all three of them, but two buddy, the one that gives you the suggestion, like the, the checklist? Yeah. Okay. Look, these plugins that we've talked about before, IQ Vid, Tube Buddy, 
and I also use Social Blade more for checking out new channels because I like to get a feel of what kind of channel they are. That's what I use that one for. But the first two I use endlessly, endlessly when I'm uploading a new video. And for the simple reason is it's got a two bud, uh, two buddies got a great checklist. It will always show you if you're using uh, to remind you. They'll show X's, and then as you do the changes, they'll come to a check mark. High res thumbnail. Uh, if you have a comment, make sure you have a, a comment pinned on your site. Um, now, yeah, exactly. Now I'm going to draw a complete blank. You see how good it works because you do forget all these things. And there's what what 18 criteria, right? Uh, yeah, something About like that. that. I'm yeah, going to see if I can me, bring up let one. Let me bring it up. <laughs> well, here, I'll bring it up on this side because then I can show yeah. them one. In the meantime, while Andrew is bringing that up, I wanted to mention the Morning Fame one as well because it's not as commonly known. Uh, it's uh, also a, kind of one of those uh, um, yeah. extensions or, uh, uh, you know, websites that helps you with uh, optimization of your videos, but it also gives a really good uh, graphic overlook of each video and all of the videos it also suggests you what videos you should be working more on which like which are doing better it's just the way it's presented it's it's very easy to understand uh they also have a keyword suggestion tool uh that you get for free i think for 24 hours and then mm. you can purchase it if you want but i just like it's a, it's a bit different way of looking at it so morning yeah. fame uh check it out for sure I'm just pulling it up now. We'll be ready in a sec. Sorry about that. No, I left the light. Now your light is shining straight in your face. I realized and I put my yeah, down. Really oh, so <laughs> if you want any tips on light, yeah. it's not today. <laughs> <laughs> you ever see when you go to see your friend and they have that dog with one ear up, one down? That's kind of what we got going on with the lights right now. Yeah. So, uh, I just, yeah, I think I'll use. This one because I want to find a good example because it was we can actually just show you right in the channel. I'll go to the one I the video I used a while ago. The only thing with these plugins, they slow you down a lot when you're browsing. And I usually what I do is I'll open the page with your extension manager and literally I'll turn them off and on as I need them. So when I'm going in here to do like to to check my videos, optimize them, then I'll turn them on and then after that I'll turn them back off because it takes sometimes three times the time to, to move around. But they're they're well worth it. They're they're definitely not a hindrance. Okay, so I'll make sure I do have them on right now. See, that's the thing. It takes a while to load. I'm still waiting. Are there anything else in the meantime? Well, you mentioned about titles and tags. Uh, the one thing that I keep uh, reminding people is that uh, lots of people say, "Well, tags are not necessary. Who is going to search you?" And that might be right when you are a small channel, but the tags are maybe not as important for search purposes at the beginning, especially when you're small, as to have everything in order. YouTube and Google, um, and you get both search engines looking through it, um, likes uh, organization. So everything what Andrew's gonna be talking about has to be intact. So you have to have searchable tags. Uh, you have to have tags that has uh, more than just one word. It's better to have more specific tags uh, because it's going to better describe your uh, video. It's also going to narrow the category because if you're, for example, if it's a video about music and you're just going to put music, well, there's probably 50 million videos about music, right? So yours, especially if it is a smaller subscription, is going to fall out of it, you know? uh and also about titles and descriptions and tags make sure that uh, it appears in all three places so whatever you choose for your title make sure that three to five words out of there or a combination of those appear in the description as well as in the tags if you have all three set uh that's uh, that would be great because that's that's good for youtube and it's good for google and have everything in order your thumbnail, your description, your title, your tags, your cards, your end uh, screen, uh, all of that, have it all there. Because they like if the video is in order. It's like I was saying before, it's like a dresser. Uh, you don't want to just shove your clothes there and, and try to squish it so it's closed. Mm -hmm. 
you want it neatly there so when you open you know where everything is well that's what it is for youtube and, and google algorithm when they go through your video uh they, they and all the meta tags so to say they want to see where is what and not get tangled in it so that's what i would say it's acting a little quirky of course anytime you do something when you want to show it live that's what happens it's actually not showing in the uh, checklist right now for some reason well in all that if you go to the tubebuddy and uh um if you sign in uh, it actually can, uh, shows you the launch pad where you can check mark what things you have or haven't done with your video. Uh, so if you have signed up to TubeBuddy, you can do that. Um, checklist tasks. Uh, uh, so you can do that. Okay. Sorry, I was trying to get this going. What would you like to? <laughs> I uh, actually was showing you what you have to do through the video. Okay, well, you're not connected to it. This is all people can see at the moment. Okay, so, so I was just uh, showing. Okay, <laughs> sorry, you. sorry, we're, this is as you can see, it's a Monday night. Sorry, we're still trying again. I was showing them though. I was going to show them quickly here because I can at least see here. There's a checklist with a vid IQ. Yep. It's not as thorough. I don't find as the other one, but it says at least one card, which we've added at least one end screen. Uh, closed captions. There's none on this. I could transcribe the music, I guess. And when you can do closed captions, you can generate them automatically. And whenever you can add them in, if you ever have voice into it, definitely try to do the closed captions because it helps you get higher ranking in uh, YouTube. It prefers it. Uh, I added it to a playlist. I made a public, shared on Twitter, shared on Facebook with at least one like, replied to a recent comment. And on the TubeBuddy one as well, it would bring up stuff like always to pin a comment is very important. Uh, a high-res thumbnail once again. Try to avoid just using a screenshot that they choose when you upload your video. Take the time, take a one screen, bring it into Photoshop, do like we did last week. Add a lot of contrast to it because remember, people are not going to see it very big. It might look nice and pretty when it's open wide. But shrink it down. Use your uh, usually on any program you edit into. Control minus and Control plus is to zoom in, zoom out, zoom it out. Get it to about the size you would see a thumbnail and look. Ask yourself, does this stand out? I, I my usual way of doing it is is adding a lot of dark contrast into it, and if the color, the train one which we did last week is an example of that. It keeps the train bright and using the fog in the background to really have a lot of heavy blacks into it. That one's a work of art in a different way than you would shoot if you were going to put something in a gallery. You really got to think about your size. Uh, VidIQ SE, SEO score, uh, 47.5. You know, the checklist. See, I got 7 out of 9, which is the checklist here. And it's just known about your tag. Now, here's our tags that we've used for this video. We put through. You can see the different ones are used. You're going to have to tailor made them. Xenia is really good at tags. That's her specialty. She goes and cleans up my tags every time because I put in the loose ones and she'll go and make it a masterpiece. You can see here 496 out of 500. Maximize it. Go as close to the 500 as you can. Uh, try to keep words in your taglines that you would have up here in the title and the description. The more these taglines keep showing up in your title and description, so if you have a, what would be an example, train races Ferrari across across Quebec. Well, you want Quebec in there. You want race. You want Ferrari. You want train as many times in your title and your description and also those words in your keywords. Then you go to your secondaries after. But that's really, really important. That's what uh, search engines really like is that can, uh continue uh what is this <laughs> there's a word for that and i'm completely uh consistency yeah consistency thank you so much yeah and uh, and like uh, a double g gaming that asked the question is saying that uh uh he's sometimes putting the tags and sometimes don't but it's all random you want to avoid random you want yeah. to be as consistent as possible and like with the tags as i said it might not be as useful yet for the search engine to be uh searched by because if you're not, not a big channel but it is good to have it in order and uh like you can use youtube itself to see what kind of hashtag uh or tag in this uh, 
uh, I mean, if you want me to go to another page yeah something. no it's okay uh what kind of tag you you want to use you just type the first word in youtube and see what it follows after and choose one of the tags there you can use google trends uh, that's exactly the page. Go there and see, compare different um, tags. I think you can compare up to five tags together to see how they're performing on the web overall and on YouTube worldwide, in Canada, in the States, uh, uh, in different timelines. You can just compare it. Sometimes I do that often when I can't decide between the two or three tags. I put it in there and I see which one performs better. Also, you can, if you don't have no clue of what tags to use, you can just put them uh, is the website allhashtag.com, allhashtag.com, uh, where you can put in the keyword that you associate to your video with, and it just get, it's going to throw out uh, like hundreds of suggestions for tags. So just cross-reference cross with that. Also, if you use TubeBuddy and VidIQ, uh, that's going to help you as well. And yes, you said that... Uh, it's good to use everything that YouTube offers. That's right. Whatever they offer uh, to, to use at your videos, use it. Yep. I have actually brought uh, TubeBuddy up here on the actual page for the video, the one we were looking at a while ago. And you see here's where I have my social blade. And this shows the health of my channel. Uh, neat little thing. I was just looking at this. I hadn't thought of it in a couple of weeks. When we started our video, now this might not sound like a big jump because we're still like 8.3 <coughs> million in video rank, but we were we were 12 and a half million, if I'm not mistaken, when we first started uh, growing our channel. So that's how quickly things can grow. So it's um, I'm, tonight just feels like the night of glitches. I swear to God, it's like I don't <laughs> know if it's like, maybe the place is Monday haunted. Blues, Monday <laughs> blues. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah, I'll ahead. just finish this thought. Yeah. So in social blade, and you can see like, you know, the subs the last 30 days. That's what I tell people, you know, how they fluctuate a lot, especially now that we've been jumping. YouTube kind of hits with a forest fire, I call it every now and then. You're going to wake up the next morning and you're missing 21 subs you had the night before. Don't panic. And unfortunately, it just happens. And we all know there's people in here that are just four subs. So you're going to get your days where you lose a decent amount. I lost more in the 30 days than I had in the first year fivefold. Uh, the views for the last day, see, I'm up 25%. Shows you I'm down, so I'm retaining more people, which is great. Uh, daily average sub, nine. That's great. I'm happy with that. Uh, daily view average, 146. See, so you're learning everything, but your analytics and these plugins is your key to growing on YouTube because you need to monitor it steady. It's a living organism. And the same as you would feed, wash, if some if you had a uh, puppy or a newborn baby, you take it to the hospital when it's sick, you monitor it, same here. And there's no shame in going back. I think I've gone back and done the titles, what, maybe four times in videos so far? Yeah, it's not only no shame, you have to. You have mm -hmm. to go back and re redo the titles if necessary, add or remove tags that are relevant or irrelevant. Uh, that's why you keep on top of your tags. Like if you have the same type of videos, save your tags in one place so then you can just copy paste them first of all but then also you can change them according to the trends some words can just fall out of the trend you want to get rid of them and you can see here like it's got my once again my keyword here's all my tags again yeah all in there here they are all again in the second plugin <laughs> there's a reason why they do that because they're that important here they are a third time every plugin always stresses tags <clears throat> and some of them are good at better inf at information than the other one is on certain things. Like here's the, the TubeBuddy one. Now you can see it here. You can see total views for this video, how many comments, likes, dislikes. This is great. It's 13 out of 20. So when that page is up, 13 out of the 20 you'll see on your right-hand side of your page is videos from us. That's what I was looking for. And the tags appear six times in the title and description, which isn't bad. And that, as you can see, like the 13 here is green. This color will change, and if you only have two or so, it will be red. And then the same with this. It will be red, black, and then green. So I could bring that up a little more. Uh, that's something I was kind of adjusting at the time, and I'll probably go back. This is great, too. It tells you how many on Facebook, uh, the connections with it. Upvotes, we haven't really bothered with too much, but definitely going to come. Twitter, we got 10 mentions for it. And here's the channel uh, rank, uh, the channel stats. 
So uh, here's that checklist I was telling you about a while ago. See, the only thing I'm missing right now is captions because there's no voice into it. Like I said, unless I decided to do the song, which there's not a whole pile of words in it anyways. But high-res thumbnail, info cards added, end screen, shared on Twitter, liked on Facebook, commented. On... Why did that feel like 18 a while ago? And I said, it really felt like it was a lot longer than that. It doesn't uh, like we do more than that, but that's yeah. the basic uh, you want to do for sure. Uh, like down the rabbit hole was saying that uh, uh, about not putting too much um, tags, the magical YouTube bots don't really know exactly how to categorize the video and it goes to the bottom of the pile. I agree and disagree. If you put random tags or generalized tags, like I said, like trains, music, video, and there's full of those, yes, it's not good to fill all 500 uh, uh, characters with that. But uh, you you want to try and and uh, and narrow it down to one or two subjects that are in your video and extend them. The longer the tag is, the better. It's it's better if it's two or three or four words, the long tail, so to say, tag, than one word. So if you put those, it's going to fill out those 500 characters pretty quickly, and you want that. You actually do want to have it just between 450 and 500 with these smart long tail tags. Mm -hmm. So um, also she was agreeing that, yeah, it goes back and forth. And it's very uh, with subscribers, and it's very discouraging, especially when you try to reach thousand. Yes, yes. Uh, we understand that. And that's why sometimes you got to take a day and just get away from it, let that happen, and then go back and say, you know what? Now I'm ready for today. Then you go back and you hit the I'm a Creator playlist. Uh, something else I had good success is because it's all in conjunction. I love, I am Creator, and it's helped us a lot. And I always tell people to go and use it because it does help you grow. And use a conjunction, and I'll find somebody who's a really great supporter on there that I know already, and I'll see people who interact with their channels, and sometimes I'll go and ask some of them. I'll go check out their channels, because if it's a mechanic channel, and I see some guys that look like they have interesting ones, if they're already supporting a guy that I know, I'll go over to their channel and check some of them out and say, hey, I'm a, I'm a, a friend of, or I was just on uh, such and such's channel, seeing your post, and I really want to see more of what you do, and I like your what you're doing here, and I've added you. And I was hoping maybe you could come by and check out what we do as well. And I always have that pace at the end where I say what we're husband-wife team from Montreal. I'm sure some of you have seen it already. Never use a full paste and drop because that will cause you 10 times the trouble and get almost no reward. You don't want to do a sub for sub. I always talk about what they did on their video. It's, there's no use. If it's a 50-minute video, yes, I might watch the first 5, 10 minutes on the first time. Comment, maybe watch some more, maybe watch another 10 minutes. I've seen myself sometimes get right into a video and realize I watched the whole thing. The The main thing is to stay and watch some of them and actually make a comment that's topical to what they were doing. I mean, the, you want everybody wants the same thing in the end. We want our work to be appreciated. There's nothing harder than when somebody uh, comes and liked your work, sub me, sub me back. I mean, it, it's disheartening because you know they never even cared about what you did. I don't expect them to study my work. I don't expect them to write a thesis about it, but I would hope that at least they would take a chance to watch a five-minute video and at least see what we do. I, I want long-term people. I know there's someone here that are added us and we'll never probably see them again. They've probably taken us off already. Well, in a way, I look at it as it's their loss. I mean, you know, I got a lot of great followers. I got people here tonight. We got, excuse me. People here tonight, people that have grown with us, not just on Facebook, then went, uh, on YouTube, but then went into our Twitter, went into our Instagram, uh, message us, making topical comments, and, and that helps your video. The more you make topical comments on each other's videos, that really propels you in YouTube's books. That's what they look for. All the big channels, you ever notice they say at the end? Leave an on-topic comment. That's what makes a big difference. If it's this video here, wow, you really captured the 80s in Montreal with this video. <laughs> It's worth its weight in gold. That's exactly what YouTube wants to see. So, yeah, let's uh, view that. I'll close this one down. Uh, Is there yeah. anything else you want to show? No, uh, just uh, following up on the uh, people's um, comments on tags. That, uh, yeah, down the rabbit man, uh, Dabber, sorry, rabbit hole <laughs> man, that just because you mentioned something once in your video doesn't mean it needs a tag. Exactly. Keyword, find a keyword, the generalized summary about what your video is about, and then build your keywords around it while answering APGH travels, uh, investigating your keywords 
triple checking on different sites, Google Trends or hashtags, YouTube. YouTube is a great research for that. Find a channel that does similar things that you are doing, uh, exactly. like a big channel that has millions of followers and uh, see yep. what tags do they have. When you use uh, a TubeBuddy and VidIQ, it actually shows you uh, the tags that people have used on their channel and their videos when you go on it. So use that. Uh, mm. There's uh, tons of, of tools that you can use uh, because it, yes, I agree. They, they, it does get very frustrating sometimes. And um, Double G Gaming is um, saying that thank you guys is really helpful. Well, welcome. Oh, exactly. And yeah. I mean, please, you guys got tips for us as well. I mean, we're not the holy grail on this. We're all kind of in the same boat. Yeah, kind of learning. We were yeah. learning as we go too. Like some of the things we are kind of doing it uh, through now each video like this checklist for example yeah and uh, there has been lots of uh, trial and error with tags trying to find the best oh. websites to to search them for now i kind of these three that i mentioned i i think they work the best for now but who knows there's going to be something else uh you know in a while and by the way yes you can use the same tags in your video videos if they are about the same keywords if they're not don't just copy paste um you know customize them to your video that you're posting yeah uh, so it can be but if all your videos are, are about different subjects and don't just use uh, the same keywords uh bottle caps hi uh <laughs> i haven't seen you so yes long. i thought you were mad at us or something like yeah. that good to have you back uh, did anybody watch JJ singing? I did. Uh, when she did the karaoke in the barn, it was I, what was it? No, a Pat Benatar song. Yeah, it was unbelievable. Yeah, because I opened it up and it took a minute to load, and I was going on to something, and I literally thought they were sing, like singing along with the album. Like she has got talent, and then some. Oh, one more thing I wanted to add about well, well I didn't forget. Sorry, I'm still back on the text well. and, and and YouTube. Uh, use other social media to promote your uh, content. Yes, especially uh, Twitter. I mean, it's great to have it on Facebook and and other uh, places as well. But especially on Twitter, a bit, not because you all also get exposure more like mm -hmm. other people do, but also because of the algorithm. Once again, even no, even if nobody likes and retweets your tweet about your video, uh, the algorithm picks up on it that it has been appearing in other places as well. So mm -hmm. that's why you want to hit that. That's why, for example share twitter do that if you have don't have twitter account make it like go and make it right now and uh also share facebook it's not only sharing your timeline it's also share as a message so go and send yourself a message of right. your video but wherever you can just share and re yeah. share it the more you do the better it is for the algorithm getting your name wherever twitter. you can possibly put it there's never a bad place to be noticed on the platform on yeah. platforms excuse me and that's the more you're interacting with all those other platforms, your other platforms going as well, and people are sharing your stuff. You got to get out there. It really, really makes a big difference. Yeah, uh, like see, for example, best friends in your uh, thread found our stream because of James' tweet about it, because he <laughs> yep. retweeted our tweet earlier about announcing the stream. Mm -hmm. So that's how he noticed it. So thank you, James. <laughs> see, that was the word, and welcome home, by the way. Uh, Booms and Bigs, hi! Yeah. I seen you the other day on on the live stream uh, on the other channels live stream. So uh, I think it was I am creator live stream, if I'm, I'm not mistaken. So uh, thank you for coming in. Yes, definitely. Uh, we missed you. You were so um such amazing uh, supporters. It's oh, amazing. right from the beginning, right? And and she has this business that they, well they do. It's it's interesting. They do travel, and then they have the eBay side, and she's buying this clothing for like. Uh, pennies on the dollar <laughs> yeah. and then selling it it's like so savvy yeah i know i know it's one of those things you look and you're like well why didn't i think of this yeah, you know go, go check <laughs> yeah. channel booms and bigs tv they're amazing i yeah. love it and and they use twitter a lot yeah. so, by the way so if anybody is still doubting of making a twitter account go check their channel go check their twitter account uh it's, it's and amazing they put up a video I, I was a bit before i went back and found it of bigs dancing the man's got moves <laughs> <laughs> really make me look really bad really fast yeah <laughs> happy trails hiking hi well no this hi. is nice thank you so much for coming in that's amazing yeah no uh another great channel and supporter from the beginning yes. you know we're all like family <laughs>
<laughs> yes, my God. It's, it's so nice to see uh, old faces <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the new ones, of course, as Have well. Have you seen all the new YouTube chat? Uh, the, all the new uh, live streams, you mean? Uh, oh, yes, YouTube chat. And, uh, uh, yeah. The YouTube has um, enabled kind of the same thing as Facebook with Messenger. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I, that you can have is it just hasn't been recent. So, uh, and I haven't shared it with Andrew <laughs> because uh. we don't use it yet. <laughs> uh, but uh, yes, I, I, um, I don't, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm kind of weary. Like I don't yeah. see, I don't see really right now the use for it for us. Maybe <laughs> there are like um, channels that would have more use of it. Uh, have you used it? What is your experience with it? Yes, yeah, exactly. I, I've seen it. I, 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 I try to look into it, but I just don't see a, a use for it uh, right now. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. If uh, tell us if you have tried it and uh, how do you plan uh, using it? You see, this is where I want to learn. I'm, I'm all ears, so <laughs> yeah. all eyes, whatever you want. <laughs> We're using it for our canteen cup collaboration. Yes, but uh, this it's kind of maybe it's more easier way than going on a Twitter or Facebook or, or whatever else where you can connect and do it directly here. But if we already have established like uh, connections of the same channels or people on Twitter and um, and so on, uh, then I then we use that. I mean, yes, I guess we could use this new chat um, as well. But it just would be just another thing to add to um, to what to use. And to be honest, I, I as much as I'm ha promoting the hassling part of go hustle on all your social medias, don't put all your eggs in one basket. I'm also at the same time so tired of doing it all at once. It just takes so much time. So unless it's completely something new and and replaces the old one or give something completely new. I don't know. Uh, right now, I just don't see the, the practical use of using it. But for somebody else, it might be a good uh, good thing to try. So why not? Um, AT, ATJH Travel. Sometimes we use our Fujifilm Sport for water shots. I see you have lots of equipment. Uh, lots of equipment. Uh, the only thing is uh, with lots of equipment, for me, what would be is to carry it all together like to have a bag and and or, or the, the camera suitcase for that i i like i like when i can just take it in my hand and and go wherever i have to so that's the only thing for me and i like to make do with what i have i mean obviously i can't go with my sony under the water but uh i'm just trying to adjust to what do i what i have but again to each their you know, own how do you get youtube chat well, I'm not quite sure. Uh, I tried it on my phone, uh, so I'm not quite sure if you can do it from your desktop. Maybe Happy Trolls Hiking can. Uh, yeah, it's only on mobile. That's right. Yeah. So uh, see, I see. I wasn't sure. Yeah, I, I tried it from the from the app, but again, I I didn't see use of it. But maybe some will be. ACMR Ross, yay! This stream is amazing. Thank you. By the way, we we dove into the technical stuff today. So, uh, but tomorrow we're gonna have our our official Tuesday Tech Talk. So, if you have any more questions about YouTube video or photo or editing, uh, come back again tomorrow from eight to ten. Uh, we're also gonna have a guest tomorrow. Uh, Puppet Gut is going to be visiting us. So if you're interested, go check out their channel, Puppet Gut. Uh, and their Twitter is going to be quite exciting and a uh, uh, different uh, type of live stream tomorrow. And of course, your questions about the technical stuff as well. So uh, we do have a backpack for camera equipment. Yes, exactly. Uh, but again, to each their own. I just like when it's compact and I can just throw it throw it in a pocket or like have a little bag and uh, I have extra things as well that I sometimes take to the event shoes like the weddings and things like that but uh, most of the time I just like to have it very handy and compact so um, 
You guys are slamming. It's yes, awesome. I was. Oh, Yay! good. There, she just saved me from typing. <laughs> I didn't want to interrupt. Yeah, thank, thank you very you so much. much. Down the rabbit hole travel says, I love Twitter. Yes, down the rabbit hole has uh, uh, a good amount of followers on Twitter. So she would be probably even better in explaining that. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, exactly. Some people have started in other places. Uh, and I think it's also uh, the the case for down the rabbit hole. Uh, she started with her blog and, and embedding um, and doing the videos right on her blog and had Twitter as well. And then she decided to turn to YouTube as yeah. well because it was a better way of uploading better quality videos. Uh, so some people start with YouTube and expand in other places. Exactly. And some people start with blog or Twitter and then add YouTube Like afterwards. Halos and Havens. I mean, they were doing podcasts yes. and everything else as well. A lot yes, of people, right. there's evolutions now. Somebody might did the opposite. You know, they're all finding their own groove. So yeah. once again, it's the more platforms going. We're actually starting to think about, ex uh, I want to start extracting the audio and maybe start putting up what we're doing here as a podcast as well that's something i've been looking at the last couple of days but we've been so busy i literally we're run right off our feet like yeah. like uh, sunday night was just a crash night like we had nothing <laughs> left in us and that's where we've been burning out i went living. to make coffee on sunday night uh, <laughs> and by the time i came back andrew was asleep i felt bad because i asked for the <laughs> coffee of course we came yeah. home and the first thing i do usually i make coffee because i'm a coffee nerd yeah <laughs> coffee snob coffee nerd if you can see my shirt uh so the first thing we do when we come home is make coffee so i went to to, to make a cup of coffee and when I came back, Andrew already was asleep. So that's why uh, Sunday was quite crashing. Yeah. Um, uh, Aaron V. Cox, James, you know you got a good stream going when you have more thumbs up than people watching. That <laughs> happens on your streams too, bro. Thank you. Yeah, yeah I mean, no, they're, they're such amazing supporters. Yep. It's amazing. It's it's so nice to see that. Uh, I mean, we're so clearing great. between 200 to 160 views a video afterwards. So, I mean, we we could we're, we're we're blown away really are and it's a nice format i think we're finding our voice this week i already i think we're finding more where we want to go with it and as uh, we've talked with james lightly we're going to try to set up this week we want to do once a week a half hour spot on one of our our live streams it's going to be dedicated solely to the i am creator Yes, and he's going to be like he's going to be like a like a what do you call a correspondent, if you will. Updates, <laughs> updates drama, yeah, news, drama, announcements. Yeah. yeah, I still wanted to trash the set one time. I tried to, I offered to give him free five comments on these videos if he trashed it. So I haven't forgotten about that, James. I'm still hoping that can be a venture sometime. Love to watch it. So, but it just because it is a growing, evolving thing, and I, I want to really like uh, do all the new highlights and do it because I believe it is changing week by week. I, I mean, day by day, of course, but in a week th it's gone huge bounds, I, I would say. Yeah. So uh -huh. we're definitely going to talk to him this week about that because I really want to get that going. Uh, yeah, you know that you're watching quality when you're watching James Cox and, of course, Push Studios. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and that's true. That's true. And James, you have been so dedicated. James has been so dedicated. Yeah. He comes on live during his lunch hour. <laughs> I still can't believe that. And it's a great video. And yeah. the thumbnail, when I seen it, it's so James. He's like in mid sentence, like this, with the hand up. I, 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 I picture the rest of the employees. I don't know if they're applauding him or they're uh, reporting him for uh, yeah. burnout. I'm not sure. So. ATJH travels. My wife and I have small photography <laughs> business. We do on the side for like small venues. That, uh, and weddings. That's amazing. Uh, I don't know if you have, and if you haven't, I uh, would really appreciate if you go over to my Instagram, uh, to our Instagram, which I just posted a link, and follow us. I would love to see your work. Uh, I really love yes. seeing other people's work. So uh, please, please follow us so I can check it out. Um, We're always looking for stuff like that. I mean, we've had people come over from your Instagram that follow your photography now over to the video and vice versa. Yeah. You know? Uh, for sure. Uh, I have no idea how to incorporate live stream into my channel. Still thinking about it. I, I my my suggestion, I would use Q and A for you because uh, down the rabbit hole does the bucket list travel uh, about travel and um, a lot of things about travel and also your lifestyle, things about your family. But I think the Q and A about traveling uh, would be a great thing to have on, yeah. on your blog. Um, so. Uh, Maybe that's something to consider, just a suggestion. Definitely. Um, 
Aaron. You, and you were so great by I like I, I know you had your uh uh, what was about coming on the live stream at first time? But I mean, you have a lot to say, and you're a very pleasant person. That I mean, your personality comes right to the camera. So you're one of those people that literally just turn it on, and I think you're, the time will fly by with you. So yeah, I I, I think you, it would you. Uh, I think people would be very um, hooked on your words. So I, I, also, you have a big travel uh, blogger community. Yeah, I'm sure, lots of them would like to be guests. Yeah, uh, because that's what. You have a, a big community of people outside of YouTube that are bloggers, that are travel bloggers, and I think that would be a great thing to do as well on live streams. But again, we would be different. honored to be your first guests. You let us know we, when, and we're there. So yes. no reason with that. That would be that. We'd would, love to yeah. talk about Iceland. Exactly. And all, oh my God! All the travels that yes. we can't talk here <laughs> all the time because otherwise it would turn into travel vlog. But uh, we would love to do mm. it on yours yes. <laughs> because it's that's what your uh, YouTube channel exactly. is about. So it would be nice to be on the other side. So. <laughs> Uh, there's so many great people, and we've been asked a lot. Like the Corn Life Network has asked, uh, the Corn, uh, Corn yep. Life Network has asked us, uh, Hales and Heathens. And, yeah. and that's great, like that. Hey, Lady Borgia. Yeah. Lady Borgia as well. Lady it's... Borgia was on my PJ party. Yes, there were some. Oh, if you haven't seen yet, on Saturday, I was all alone <laughs> um, having PJ party. Girls' night in. Uh, all girls PJ party with Lady Borgia. So if you haven't seen it, yep. go back to our videos and and you'll see our talks. We talked about everything, and makeup and and pajamas, of course. Yep. Uh, but also some serious topics about uh, invisible uh, illnesses uh, like fibromyalgia and rheumatoid arthritis and uh, chronic pain management. Mm. Uh, and then uh, you know about each other's lives as well. So it's uh, quite uh, was quite an interesting conversation. Uh, I really enjoyed it. And oh, yeah, it was amazing. And I I definitely see it. It's going to happen again. So it seemed to be like the response is really good. That's what we needed to learn the first couple of weeks is what's working, what's not, and we have to find what's working for us. So we are comfortable doing this. Uh, we definitely want to run with this more. Uh, having you guys has been one of the greatest parts of this whole adpocalypse yeah. more than getting the subs more than oh yeah we're getting to meet you all i think we have over 20 that want to be on the show of like on live stream for this oh yeah yes i have it uh, i have yeah. people already scheduled uh, for for a good while and then i have still people that i have to schedule on the calendar so more exciting guests uh, tune in every night from 8 to 10 some days there's going to be guests, some days, days is going to be just like today, yep. uh, just us talking and interacting with you guys, but uh, lots of exciting things. Uh, so uh, mus oh, I wanted to say a special hi to Muscular Dystrophy Awareness Challenge. Yes. Hi. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Uh, Seven Blessings had put the challenge out for us and nominated yeah. us, James Cox and Miss Kathy, to do. Uh, oh, James is nominated too. Yes, oh. the Muscular Dystrophy Awareness Challenge, okay. and we are definitely going to do that yep. and maybe even do it live. Yeah. In one of our uh, following live streams. So thank you. So thank you very much for dropping by. And if anybody haven't yet, please go check it out. Like the leukemia challenge the other night touched on my um, on my uncle. Uh, MS is common in my mom's side of the family. So I really, and, yeah. really, 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 I appreciate what you're going through. I appreciate what you're doing to raise awareness for it. Um, my hat's off to you. And it's our pleasure to do anything like that we can to bring awareness to it. So you got us. So a big thumbs up to you. Big thumbs up. Um, I am best friend in your thread. I have made so many friends. Happy to meet you all. That's exactly that. That's, yeah. it's, uh, that's what I keep saying. Exactly. It's not just about channels. It's mainly about people behind them. And why we do these interviews yep. is we want to know who is behind the channels. Because after all, it's more about people yep. on the channels and like like the, uh, so all these people that we've had on, down the rabbit hole i mean all the awesome story you know finding out a fellow canadian you know about her work history and all these all yeah. these things that we don't get to see with videos and uh I'm just trying to think of all the uh, oh the corn life God, network you know so he had some amazing stories about like getting like accidentally going into canada you know like yes. he was on his uh he need to go to walmart living in buffalo new york and his GPS, the nearest Walmart was actually across the border, and he got in like a three-hour hookup there. 
uh heathens and halos i mean they had some great stories too oh my god uh, yeah. yes uh, and, and, halos and heathens excuse yeah, me yeah and like uh railroad 2000 uh who knew he is so educated oh god, young waiting. man about history <laughs> Uh, history, uh, yeah. it's amazing. He's like a dictionary. I don't know how he him. does it. He talked for like 15 minutes. I've never heard so much information, and he never said the same thing twice. Yeah, I know. It's it's amazing. I wish I would have a memory like him, oh. you know. And then yeah. uh, I wish our... I could find my car keys in the morning, let alone what this guy can do. <laughs> and our fitness uh, channel, oh, yeah. uh, Island, uh, it's it, it, like it's not your regular fitness uh, channel, to everybody would think so. Mm -hmm. uh, it's such an amazing uh, to have a conversation, to get to know more about his travels, planning uh, in, in a couple of weeks across Canada, and actually, hopefully, even meeting them on the way back when yeah, they exactly. come and, and see Montreal. So it's a, it has been an amazing week. You know what? Yeah. It's, I, I'm thinking about all the guests that we had in the last week. And I'm so looking forward to the next week because we're going to have even more amazing people. It to gave talk us the with. confidence we needed, and it also showed us that there's so much great content out there, and that's in you guys. And if you want to be on, please, I'm, I'm asking you, like, drop us a line at Twitter or DM, and YouTube is not exactly the most reliable thing in the world. Yes, Twitter probably is the best because then I can see it right away and, and yep. uh, put you organize yep. you all exactly. <laughs> so I don't miss uh, any messages. So mm -hmm. if you want, please because we'd love to have you everybody's got a story and i as aesthetic fitness was a great example of that like you know some people think oh well it's just a weightlifting guys we say like the guy had you know we talked about tourism in prince edward island where he's from well as we said the last week one of our favorite places in canada yeah provinces. and i mean people have a lot of layers to them and that's the nice part about this is now getting to know them because then we're going to bond for years. And what we got in I'm a Creator is this is, like I say, kind of like I'm Creator 2.0. We've gone through the boot camp, and now we're in it for the long haul. And I like to think a lot of you that are here are in that. And that we'll be seeing each other one year, two years, three years, four years down the road. Yeah. Like, did you know that Lady Borgia wanted to be a surgeon? I didn't I'm, sure. I I'm sure I'm sure you didn't know that. <laughs> no. I tried to watch it the other night, but Xenia won't watch the video. She, <laughs> yeah, she wouldn't watch, watch it if she was in the room. So by then I was too late. So I caught parts of it. Yeah, but... I didn't know. She wanted to be a surgeon. Yep. So, you know, there are things that we get to know about each other that are mind blowing sometimes. So oh. uh GH travels, really enjoy your li uh, lives and guest lives. Thank you so much. Yes, yeah. tomorrow we have a special guest, as I was mentioning before. Uh, tomorrow from 8 to 10 is our Tuesday Tech Talk with a puppet cut. Yep. Oh, you, know, you didn't give a hug. I did. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I didn't know if you did or not. So, okay. Uh, T Throng uh, enjoyed the talk of tourism in the video with him. Yes, definitely. For sure. We're all learning stuff from each other. You know, it's, it's and we try to keep it very, like the Corn Life Network said, he tried to keep his kitchen, his talks, and they're all in the morning and they're by his kitchen table because he wants to keep that feel of where he has his best talks growing up. This is what I've always wanted to do with this in the short time that we've had it is to make it feel like the kitchen parties that I grew up with where everybody just kind of sits around and, um, and plays guitar and singing and laughing and I always call it organized chaos. I want that with you guys as well. You guys, I learn new things from you. We learn new things from each other and I also enjoy your content. So we're getting multiple, you're multiple threats now, if you will, because you have so much going on between mm -hmm. your personality and your work. A uh, best friend in your thread uh, has a conversation with down the rabbit hole about Niagara Falls. The best friend mm -hmm. lives on the Buffalo, New York side. And uh, down the rabbit hole has uh, always wanted to see Niagara Falls. So uh, a best friend is going to vlog to her on the Niagara yeah. Falls. Maybe That's in so the cool. summer we can go down and see Niagara Falls again. So yeah. then we can blog vlog through us. <laughs> it's such a hard place for a camera because of the yes, mist. It is, my God, but it's beautiful. It's beautiful. So it's, it, and it being people that, especially over there, they're used to it now, and they use all kinds of different tricks with the shields and stuff like that over top. Because the footage, I mean, is nothing short of spectacular. Best friend is asking, how long have you been doing live streams for? You are good at it. This is our <laughs> <laughs> thank you. But yeah, this is job. our tenth live stream. Yeah. 10 in a row, except for Easter Sunday and, and, and yesterday. yesterday. So, so Sunday, six yeah. days a week. Yeah. Six days a week. And this is only the 10th one. So, yeah. So Thank you. you are so kind. And the people that's been Very with us kind. here since the beginning, you guys have been Larry Johnson. Welcome. Good Jamie to see you. Jamie Dion Cars. Hey, guys. Oh, uh, you perfect. managed to jump in. Uh, T Throg. 
I liked you that you put up pictures during the conversation. Oh. We're trying to uh, yep. have it more interactive, uh, so it's more interesting for you guys. Because after all, it's not just for you yep. and me; it's yep. for everybody. And that is our favorite part well. of it. If it's uh, with a guest interacting with them, but especially also interacting with you guys. Uh, best friend is saying that uh, the uh, oh. drone would be great over the falls if you could manage the water and not lose it. Well, yeah, yeah that would be a hard thing to do. I think even uh, Peter didn't do it. We are back. <laughs> um, uh, he didn't. He went to uh, down to Niagara Falls to do some nice uh, winter shots, and I I don't think he used the drone. I'm not sure. Mm. Gotta go back and check it out. Yeah, I kind of forget now. Yeah. The winter shots. Which ones? Uh, he did uh, the collaboration with the guy from Toronto. They went and did those frozen shots. Oh remember? yes, 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 yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. I, I doubt he did the drone though. I don't know. Plus, it's it also does... over the border, so yeah. I don't know how he would be able to find it. Yeah, it's a tricky place. Yeah, yeah that's I'm not sure. Yeah, from legal side of a uh, muscular dy dystrophy awareness challenge is uh, leaving us. Have a great night. Thank, Thank you, you so for much for coming. dropping by, and we're yeah. gonna do the challenge soon. Yes. We promise, and I'm gonna tweet it to you if you are not gonna be on the live. So thank you so much. Uh, now push this to you. Niagara Falls has nothing on my Olympus IMD. My camera will leak Niagara. <laughs> Yeah, James is always well, James. Yeah, yeah, I, love yeah. I mean, we can always manage. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I wouldn't want to lose my camera, but yeah, <laughs> maybe the phone would be okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> James is amazing. <laughs> Don't forget to come back, like, and comment to this yes, video once please. it's uploaded. Please comment, say that you have been on the live stream. Yeah. Uh, we always go back to the live stream again, but uh, uh, so other people also know that you have been here it's it's great not not only for the channel that you leave a comment at yeah. but it's also great for exposure because other people who come and watch the video later on and they see that you have been on they might check your channel as well so definitely come back like and comment i put up a preview in the day video and people comment and i love that but then we always have to unlist that one because it's going to get bumped by the other so they don't conflict I can still see the comments so that's why i appreciate when you come back the second time and put it under the this one here it really does help that's all our lines, James. Yeah. That's what I post when I'm a mod on, on your chat. That's yeah. what I post to. Please come back. Like and comment. James is still struggling with the, the boot on the other foot. He's doing pretty good at it, I got to say. Yeah, best friend is going to come back yeah. and like, please, please all do. That, that's great for everybody. Uh, and uh, I can see that everybody has really great interaction with each other, yes. followed each other, and watched videos that they haven't seen yet. It's amazing. Larry Johnson is uh, working on his edit. I, I remember Train Man was saying too that he's working on a video he's going to yep. post today later on. I've been so working on one. I've out. been working on three for the last two weeks, and now the live streams. I can't even find the time to finish them. I'm going to maybe bite the bullet. And well, as soon as this is done, I'm going to go into midnight mode tonight because I. Uh, have a doctor's appointment tomorrow morning, but I might just try to burn through the night. Yeah, I think everybody is very excited to see your mountain uh, from yeah. Alps. You wish you showed a preview. <laughs> so am I. Right? <laughs> see, that you was... are excited to see the mountain video that Andrew was showing you last week. It's, it's the highest what point in it? Europe, so I'm trying New to get that crow. Yeah, I'll be excited for it as well. It's, it's I'm a, a person who likes to close books and to know that's those three videos are sitting there has been driving and now that we've done the christening on sunday that's a whole new another project i gotta jump into yes that's gonna be a lot of time of cooling through the pictures yeah. for me at least and you doing the video for sure yeah. but we are here yeah. we are dedicated to exactly. our supporters we love it we enjoy it, it and it's hard because you guys feel done. my passion into doing it and then there's so much that goes into getting the live stream then it goes through and because I, I, you really do. You guys are really getting me more, and and you're breathing a second wind into me to create. And I really want to get back into editing again. And I re there's all kinds of ideas. I, have, I even want to shoot some new footage. Although Montreal in spring is very touchy because there's no leaves in the trees. Everything's going to look like some... <laughs> I might as well shoot in black and white and do like a 1970s noir uh, yeah. No, the this kind of movie really for it, but it was zero degrees today. But it's supposed to have flurries and snow during yeah. the night again. So, guys, anybody? Uh, the other yeah. night, I asked both people from California to send some. They didn't have any. Instead, yeah. they had snow there. <laughs> exactly, so I guess we yeah. sent it the other way. But anybody yeah. who has any sound anywhere, please expedite we're, it right we're here. We're begging at this point, literally. 
send it overnight. We'll cover the charges, COD, I don't care. <laughs> I don't know if you heard it. When, I don't know if you heard this. I heard on the radio station today, CJD was talking about, I believe it was in upstate New York, one of the local counties, the police officers have put, arrested Winter. They put them on notice for loitering. <laughs> And they said that if they'll go easy yes, on them. New York City. Yeah, yeah. No, it's above New York. It's it's in the counties. Oh, in the counties. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. counties. And that they've put it on notice and that they're uh, going to go easy on it if, it if it stops its loitering. But if not, they're going after the groundhog and everything. And they've also notified the weatherman that the weather's on notice. So let's hope they get them. <laughs> let's yeah, hope they get their groundhog man. haven't been too reliable. No. I don't know what's with that animal. but the... Yeah, he's uh, not something you'd sit your watch by I, lately. I think it just gets grumpy. It gets woken yeah. up and then just on purpose spitefully says something else. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Xenia has this way of animating everything. <laughs> I swear to God, she could make this coffee cup sound like it was singing in like a parade somewhere. Oh, she has a story. somebody wakes you up. Okay, what is going to be like? like? I would say them. I would tell them yeah. to go yeah. a couple of miles far. And guys, too, if we don't have you yet, please, if you can, check out our content and subscribe and comment if you like what we do. And definitely comment because I really want to check you guys out as well. And it's, it's just impossible to try and do during the stream. So please uh, leave a comment and I'll definitely check you out. It'll be my pleasure. So mm -hmm. always looking for the next, we're all potential next big channels. So, Oh, Benjamin. Hi. Oh. You managed to jump in in our last <laughs> couple yeah, minutes. Thank is, you so much. I'm always worried he's going to critique me. This guy's got fashion sense up the walls. I am I think he's just, he's the type of guy that I would say hi to. And within five minutes, he's going to have me in a blazer and smelling good. <laughs> No, yeah, I, yeah. I actually remember uh, noticing Benjamin's tweet, uh, again, talking about Twitter uh, and uh, checking out his video mm -hmm. and then coming back to Twitter and saying, you know what, I followed you. And then he went and checked us. Yep. Uh, and that's how we connected. So Twitter is really good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, down the rabbit hole, tra uh, the hole travel. Hi, Benjamin, my fashion guru. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And the guy is, he, he's crafty. I can see, I can see his sales. I, I know how I can tell right away that he's got the right things to say in that. Yeah. Yeah. No, he knows his stuff, and he's good at. The, I could see the women there liking the whole thing that he does, the accent and the suaveness with the getting their men oh, dressed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's for sure. It's very attractive. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, thank you so much, all, uh, for coming. And again, I'm just reminding that tomorrow. Although we touched a lot today about the technical stuff and cameras and, and YouTube and video uploading, uh, tomorrow we're going to have our official Tuesday Tech Talk. Uh, so if you have questions, please uh, drop them in the chat tomorrow. Come back, ask them. Uh, we're going to try to answer them more uh, if we can. Uh, and if we can't, we're just going to throw it back in the chat and see maybe there's somebody who can answer them. There's, It's always amazing that we all can help each other. It's uh, not just us, it's everybody. Uh, it's And that's what we like about uh, sometimes just the two of us being on the live streams is amazing interaction with you guys and, and having to talk uh, and answer questions and having discussions about different subjects uh, just with you. Uh, on a chat so you were our special guest tonight and i think we really enjoyed it i i really enjoyed tonight it was uh, amazing it, it was, was amazing mm -hmm. there's so many questions and talks and and support for us and for each other it was amazing so we'll definitely do that uh, again again i think and don't be shy to share with us because we're always wanting to know more about you guys and once again if any of you want to be on uh, uh, interviewed on the live stream we want to have you so please uh, just uh, send us a Twitter because it's the easiest way. Yeah. If you don't have Twitter, Facebook is good too. Just primarily if you have Twitter, that's the fastest, easiest way. Like Once again, uh, DMs in YouTube are not exactly what I go by because they're too unreliable. I'm just dropping the link to our Twitter, although yeah. you can have uh, find it on our About section. in uh, Custom YouTube. Carts, thank you so much. Uh, you guys are you guys are wonderful supporters and i love what you bring to it, it, it you guys make this especially these uh, nights yeah you guys really make uh, the show interesting i love your questions and keep thinking of new questions you have for the next time and they're not just geared to us maybe somebody on here has a better answer than us maybe exactly. hey if i learn something else that will help me grow or make a better channel or anything like that 
I'm all ears because I, I certainly don't have mo all the answers. Yeah. Uh, uh, Jimmy D on cars as well. Nice channel. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Or, or oh, sorry. Okay. I mean, he said, oh, okay, it was someone comes to Kirk because he supported him. Okay. Well, that's great. I love the support. Well, so, and we hope he's yeah. here. Yeah. Because I think it's kind of our and too. Custom Cards does have a great channel. So, anything else to worry? Look at you guys still supporting each other. That's amazing. That's great. That's so awesome. Uh, love it. Love it. Love it. Oh, the poop lights. I got to go check that out on Steve's. What is that? Uh, he's talking about Steve's. <laughs> it must be those. Uh, you know, that's going around just like the, the emoji he just used. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Live and learn. <laughs> Live and learn. Everybody's checking out everybody right now. I like that. It's like the last, it's like when the, the hall's about to close and everybody's handing out business cards. Yeah, the last dance of the yeah. night and the lights go on. <laughs> Steven has the poop lights on his channel. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh my God. Thanks for piquing our curiosity on that one. Yeah. Like, look at a lot of you even talking. You're meeting new people, but you're also people that, you know, you can think back and remember a couple months ago when we all first started doing this, you met through the I'm a Creator. And now you're connecting. Uh, like, you built a bond already even before we started talking like this. And you've seen them talking on their own live streams and stuff. Oh, it's activated. I'm oh, sorry. I, 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 I'm so curious. I, just, <laughs> I couldn't help it. I, got, I have to see it. Yeah. I'm not going to put it on the stream because I want people to go to your channel and see it. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm sorry. I'm just not. <laughs> yeah. Steven, I'm watching your poop lights. Yeah. It's so funny. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, you guys, you got to go and yes. watch it. Now. Definitely go I'm check out dropping, Steven's I'm poop dropping lights. the video link. <laughs> laugh. You want to have a laugh for the night? There you go. Jimmy Dion Cars, thank you so much for coming. So glad, uh, so glad to have you. It's been such a pleasure. Is the chat ending? Yeah. yeah, we we yeah. It's just the last couple of minutes. Um, our time usually is from eight to ten, and we always go yeah, over ten. Exactly, <laughs> and it's because we're having fun doing and it. It's yeah. good because otherwise, yeah. if it would be eight to eleven, we would be here till midnight. So, but you come back tomorrow. Please come back tomorrow. There's gonna be more much fun again tomorrow. More tech talk and guests, and so come back. I, again. I'm sorry. I'm just because Aaron. I don't want to lose this here. You wrote, check out speaker for your idea to use an audio platform, auto upload to here and Twitter. Spreaker. Okay. Well, check it out. Thank you so much. Yeah, Spreaker. Sorry. Yes. Thank God. Because I would have went search for that. Thank you. Thank you very much. You see much. what we're talking about, folks? See what we're learning from other people? Okay. okay. I found it. Uh, I want to, I don't know if you know more about the podcast because I was wondering about the cast box platform for that, because that's what I use for listening cast, uh, podcasts on my daily life. And I, I was looking into using cast box for our podcast. If you know anything more about it, uh, more than welcome your input. What is better? Yep. Uh, Maybe that's a theme we'll have soon. Yeah, Halo's probably know more about Yeah, it exactly. Too, we'll get some people that know about it and they don't put together. Yeah, yeah for sure. That 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 might be something. Uh, before you go, Aaron, I'm just going to ask you quickly, do you use it? Is that something you're familiar with? Yeah, he has a video from a couple months ago titled Oh, he does. From Spreaker. Yeah, we'll go we'll okay. go and check it out. Thank yeah, you so and we'll send him a much. Message. Yeah. Thank you so much. That's what I love about it. That's yeah. what we love about it so much. It's yeah, that yeah. this uh, we live and learn. We we interact with each other. We interchange, uh, you know, answers. It's it's amazing. Uh, Something you. like that might save ten steps that we would have had to do not knowing. So I'm uh, I'm all over that. So yeah. And again, um, don't forget to come back, like, and comment under <laughs> the video after it's uploaded. Okay, uh, let everybody know AG. that you have been uh, right here. Right. Um, and Pusha is awesome. ADH Travel says, thank you. You are We're amazing. Awesome. You are amazing, <laughs> You're too. Awesome. You all are yeah. awesome for coming over. I truly so appreciate you, you all. Thank you so much. And thank you, Benjamin. Yes, for dropping in in the last couple of minutes. Yes, we appreciate exactly. that, too. I'm and, back tomorrow. Yep. Have a great night, guys. Thank you so much for coming. And uh, enjoy our special guest tomorrow night, plus Tuesday Tech Talk. Have a great night, keep guys. Keep creating. Bye. And keep creating.